And there we go. Mic check. One, two, one, two. Two legit city on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hey, y'all doing today? It's your boy, me, Two Legit City, and we're live. And today, we are going to be playing some of that oxygen non included back into the non starter geyser playthrough. And let's head in. We're going to be trying to do some things on a metal volcano planet. We're going to be sending stuff back home. We're going to be making a lot of trips. We just readjusted the landing sites so that we can have a deep landing setup. And then we're going to be trying to line up three metal volcanoes if we can. All while trying to transition the food from meal lice to a grub food. Y'all know what it is though? It is what it is. I'm thinking about growing some uh, meal lice. And what I'm thinking about doing with that is actually uh, doing that for the mealwood seeds. Right? Oh, we actually have a thou- Dude, we have a lot. You know what? I take that back. Yeah, I have a thousand mealwood seeds. We'll never actually burn through. That will be okay. All right. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Come on. You guys are good. You guys are good, too. Everything's looking nice. Can't complain. This is out of power, dude. Classic. Always out of power. I need to get power source, and I need to feed into this battery. That's actually what I think we need to do. That's probably going to be the smartest thing to do. And I think the thing to do is... I think we should try to use the hydrogen. I think we should try to use the hydrogen. And the reason why I think is because we have a lot of hydrogen. We have more hydrogen than we do oxygen. That's really weird. So what that means is that we've been... So we're positive on the hydrogen generation just due to how the spawn works. And then we tackle on top of that the fact that, well, the uh, hydrogen is also not really being utilized on a separate line. So all of the gain has been accumulating here to the point where it's one to one now, right? 281 to 271 per tile. There's actually more tiles in the bottom. So there's actually more H2 than there is O2. So I think we could try to use that. And then I think we have the hydrogen vents right here. We could try to use this. Now, there is a small thing with that. It feels weird. I think we'll have to deal with it, though. So, this is doing that. We're not crushing here anymore, right? I guess we can. Wouldn't be a bad thing. Battle past that? Nice. Uh, it depends on what the situation is, Torvac, if that makes sense. If the situation calls for a specific build, you might need something different. But depending on what type of heat you're trying to keep away, let me know. There's a lot of different strats you could utilize for that, though. All right, so we're going to go up this way, go that way, and then drop off the grip ropes. Yeah. So hopefully they don't drop the eggs anywhere on the floor. Hopefully that's not going to be possible. These guys should be good. The steam is all right. I think we froze that. Oh, yeah, my water. Yeah, okay. So this water is a little bit interesting because we're going to have to think about that. All right, we need water in here, 100%. Let's actually attach this real fast. Let's get some water out. It's going to be the base entrance. They'll keep the heat out and let the dupes in. Do a double liquid lock. That'd probably be the easiest thing for you to do. Double liquid lock and have the room in the middle be a vacuum. So effectively, you would create what I have over here. Uh, I think it's on this planet. No, that's not this planet. Do I not have a heat lock anywhere? Oh, my spawn's cold. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's why. No, you want it to be a vacuum. So the reason why you want a vacuum is because you could see here, we have a vacuum tile right here. You could do this design if you're okay with it. The safe thing to do is to do a double liquid lock. So you just put a liquid lock and then another liquid lock, and then the area in between should be a vacuum always. So if you want, you just put a pump in there, always pumping if something weird gets inside, and pump it back outside if you really want to do that. But the idea is to have a vacuum. A vacuum has no heat transfer, 
So this oil at 53 degrees. And then this is oil at 32 degrees. There's no heat transfer here. So that's effectively what you want to be doing. Oh, wait, that was my plan, basically. Yeah, that'll be fine. That, that would be your layout, then, that you'd be looking for. But yeah, you want it to be a vacuum as often as you can. You don't want that to be... Uh, oh, that's too much water. You don't want to have any gas there. Because that's going to allow the liquid lock in the front to transfer heat to the liquid lock in the back. And that's, well, how you generate heat in that uh, situation. So, yeah, you're going to want to avoid that if possible. Unsuited uh, dupes may bring the vacuum. No, they wouldn't unless they are sick and they cough or they are flatulent. Outside of that, if it's a vacuum, the dupes can't breathe out. You could only breathe out CO2 when you have O2 in the environment to breathe in. So breathing out is a reaction, not so much an action that they randomly take. Once they consume enough O2, they're going to breathe out some CO2. That's just how that works. Now, for the most part, what you're more worried about because of uh, the dupes is even with the suit on, you're worried about them carrying something that off gases. So rotten food, they're moving the polluted dirt out, they're moving bleach stone in, they're moving in slime, moving out slime. Anything that off gases is what you're worried about. Because if you just off gas inside, the heat transfer is going to start happening. And then if you don't catch it fast enough, it's going to continue happening until you heat up the liquid lock on the other side. So that's really all you're worried about, to be honest. Cold energy. Let's go. All right, so on this, we are doing great. The calories have been going down, but that's because we are transitioning. Ah, we have our first grub fruit plants. You need to work harder, dude. Real talk. You need to work a lot harder. Because my plants, man, they are not getting rubbed. This guy did, though, and he's growing. We got the weak grub fruits. We're going to have to make grub nuts. Oh, man. All right, let's put the grub nuts in here. Double liquid lock would be enough to keep the air pump in their full time. Yeah. Yep, yep. It'll be fine. Only one? That's the only one we have evolved so far. Uh, the other eggs are actually right here. So once they hatch, we'll be fine. But yeah, we got to wait for them to hatch. So we're growing sweetles here. Sweetles go into here. Grub grubs go into the top. And then what we do is, uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to do like a cooling system on the side. I probably want a wheeze wart there, to be honest. Ooh, I do have two seeds. That's actually kind of nice. And we have pips. All right. So we are going to do a natural tile. <laughs> and we're going to plant a pip right there. I should be far, in a, uh, far away from everything else that's a critter. So we wouldn't have any problems. Alright. Uh, is anyone going to grab the igneous rock here? Alright, we're just going to move it out so that no one actually takes it. Do you have the pip overlay? Uh, no. I, I know the range. I don't need the mod. I've played this game way too much. <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse, man. Airlock natural tile? No airlock. We're just going to put a natural tile there. Realistically, I'm just going to want to cool this area down so that we counterbalance the grill right here. Because this grill is effectively uh, generating a lot of heat, so we need to balance that out. It doesn't help that the fridges are running, too. That's another thing. Alright, let's move out this. Alright. This is not grounded. That's weird. Oh, that means they used a toilet until they ran out. Oh, that sucks. And are we researching at the moment? We should be needing a lot of, uh, yeah, okay. So we will be researching right now. 
So we are going to need a pilot. This is going to be D Mayor. Oh, Susumu could do it too. D Mayor, what do you do? D Mayor is a plumber. Oh, we can't send him into the rocket. What the heck is this? Are we sending Susumu? <laughs> D Mayor is a plumber, dude. What's he doing in the rocket ship? We don't need that. All right, how much steam's in here? 30 kilograms. And we add some more. Alright, let's get some food in here. Uh, what do we have back at home? Let's go with the... Let's go with some barbecue. The barbecue's not gonna rot in here. We'll be fine. I don't need a telescope right now. We could... I should do some telescoping. Uh, let's push this to 20. Let's get two people for this. So, Susumu is... Susumu could do the research. Okay, yeah, we could do this. We could do this. Uh... D mayor operational. He could do that. Yeah, I, I think it'd be fun. Alright, we'll have both these guys in. Alright, we'll fill it up too. I think. Oh, and I'm releasing steam. No. Alright, we just got some gunshots. It's gonna be free sulfur. Two shots. Let's go. Send it off your plumber. Yeah, man. We, uh,. Found out that the princess isn't in this castle. We gotta go to the next one. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. It's a classic situation. Thank you for saving me, Mario. But my name is Toadstool. Not the princess. You gotta go find her again, man. And it's like, ah, shit. Here we go again. Y'all know that uh, Bowser's name is actually CJ? Did you guys know that? I made that up, by the way, so that's not true. Oh, wow. We can mop this up. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah, how many levels of that? Dude, man. I don't want to get into how many levels. It's way too many. Alright, so there's oil here that we can't use for anything anymore. That's a little bit unfortunate. I guess we could dump it into the other res. Alright, this is ready. We're going to get the food. 87. Let's speed this up. Had it changed because he was bullied by the plumber. Oh, man. Yo, man, it'd be like that sometimes. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, we're going to max this out. We're going to get the good steam. We're going to start exploration. And, well, I really just need the data bank, so we're just going to do everything on top of that. Hey, it's sweet. All right, this Sweetle is going to move to here. Why? Because I don't have enough uh, grub grub rubbers. That sounds weird. But yeah, we got we got to get the grub grubs. In. Uh, the hatch needs to get wrangled. We need to move them out. The pips in there. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, we're gonna move the pips into the meal room. It's totally uh, sanitary. I need you guys to just trust the process. It's not going to get anything in the food. Oh, there's a pip in here already? Okay. We should do the other ones. Where did this pip come from? I didn't even notice he was there. Make them barbecue. No, man. Pips are friends. Pips are friends. Alright, so we're good here. Uh, so the strat is... We do the steam, outlet, crew. We're going to go to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. Actually. Oh, I could just do this. Yeah, we'll fly by this planet. Yeah, we're good. We have oxygen in the suits, BBQ in the 
Are you guys not allowed to drive? Wait. How are you guys not allowed to drive? Friends and emergency rations. You guys are not allowed to drive? No, you are allowed to drive. What are you doing? Wait, what? Why can't we launch? Oh, I have a false crew list. Ah, uh, here we go. Timo's on the line. Timo, what are you doing, man? How'd you get on the list when you're not even here? Come on, guys. Let's launch. We're not waiting for Timo, dude. This guy, Timo. Hey, man, wait for me. Not even here, dude. You're already in the rocket. Leo the human, welcome in. I see you over there. There is an anime I saw before where... Uh... There's a mascot. You guys know that, right? Mascots in animes. They're like characters that are just cute, don't have lines. And in this anime I saw, the mascot was a guinea pig. And there was a situation where they haven't eaten in a couple days. And, and, and the main character was just like dying. Like he was super hungry. So the guinea pig turns around and bites a chunk of his butt and offers it to to the to the main character. I was like, dude, what the heck is this? <laughs> Friends, but emergency rations at the same time, man. Leo the human. That's exactly what that was. Now it was super comedic. Like you know, the guinea pig never died. He, he you know, the, the main character didn't eat it. He's like, no, I can't do this. They were homies, man. Real homies. All right, so that's gonna be good. Uh, we're waiting for the other guy to come back. This is not going to do anything. Grub fruit's going to be nice. All right, so we are going to need to prepare for this planet. So what we're doing is basically we are landing here. We have a uh, shaft that we land in, so it's easier to go from here to here to here instead of being at the top. Travel distance was killing me. And then we need to tame a couple things. We have our trident design uh, for the tamer. So we have to build this effectively. And then we need to do a hydrogen tamer here. Oh, the rover's dead. So we're going to do a uh, copper tamer, cobalt tamer, and iron tamer all in one. And we're going to have the this one in specifically for uh, what we want. So this should work. We just have to uh, work everything out. So we're going to need... It's likely this is going to be diamond, right? I mean, we have metal volcanoes here. We could literally just let it run and then use those metals for the temp shift blades. <laughs> right? That's what I'm thinking. It's like, maybe that's not going to work. And then if we do that, what else will we need? So we're going to need aqua tuners, right? It looks like we're going to have them in the corner so that the metal volcano heat doesn't actually uh, add on to that. And then that way we get steam power on the sides, right? Because the heat's going to be in the middle. You were worried about the... Oh yeah, they're going to snipe this at the angle. So we need to bring steel. Steel, about a ton of plastic, a lot of minerals. I want to say there's a lot of igneous here though. Oh, there's 200 tons. Oh, we're good. We have enough igneous for this, then. And then, this is Neutronium. Yeah, so what we would need is steel, lead, probably smart battery stuff. I could see this being self-powered. I'm going to be completely honest. I could see this being self-powered. With the liquid metal, melt the temperature plates, if you do that? No. Because the room is also going to be filled with steam. So while in an isolated situation that will melt the temp shift plate, because the presence of steam is inside, you actually spread out the amount of DTUs that you're adding to the uh, design. Which would mean that the overall amount of heat doesn't actually get that high. Because the DTU is being spread. So in our case, we're going to be okay. If we were worried about that, I'd consider bringing in a lot of diamonds just because diamond's never going to really melt in these situations. 3.4, right? 3,400 degrees Celsius for that to be a thing. All right, let's go for that. Getting our sulfur shots. Uh, we have steel. Let's look at our resources. 
not that much copper. Let's look at our metals. We have a lot of lead. That's really it, though. Which means we really, really need to be uh, smelting stuff here. This is tough. Oh, we have aluminum. Ooh, aluminum is nice. All right, we're going to make a lot of copper, and that's going to be really bad. Because it's going to be power negative. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. Yep, I don't want to do it, but I think we have to. This is, this is power negative. We're out of fossil, man. We're out of lime. Yeah, I really need power here. So, yeah, we have coal. It's not going to matter. Let's make... Let's make 99. So, yeah, we're going to be using 150. Oh, I guess I made too much iron. Dude, this is cold. I'm barely going to heat this up. I mean, we're going to generate power. It's just not going to be a lot. Oh, man. DQ view still kills me, even though I drop out of engineering school. Dupe thermal unit. Yo, man. You like that sometimes? You got to respect the dupes. Put some respect on this name. That's a vacuum, right? Oh, it is. Nice. Alright, so far so good. There is more we could mine. Oh, finally. There we go. And we mop this up. And then we want to move the water to here. No auto bottle. We're just going to be moving bottles of water on the floor. And then I'm still pumping that up into the storage. Uh, since it's disconnected, we're not going to do that. And then there is this water here. 19 degrees. Ooh. That would be mad jank. But it would work. Uh, you guys want to see something really weird? This works, right? <laughs> Does this not work? Oh, there's no intake anywhere. Oh, so I got to do this. There we go. So I'm going to loot cold water in this area till it cools down. <laughs> so I'm just going to loop the cold water till it warms up, and then we're going to dump it back in. Yeah, we needed an intake to set directional flow. I forgot about that. Alright, this is a very slow cooling system. It's 28 degrees. This is 19, so it should have some cooling effect. Alright, so this is clean. Let's put the uh, wart seed there. I probably want to use copper. Alright, where do we put this? We're going to move this to here. Speed this up. How? Oh, they're back. Okay. So that means we're going to charge this because we want to head back to the planet ASAP. Alright, so we also want to dump this. Is that a thing still? Oh, I removed that. Oh, that's that's potentially a problem. Uh, okay. We are going to do something different then. Here, here. We're going to bop that. We're not going to need the oil anymore, I don't think. So we're just going to, you know, remove it. So this is fine. It's warming up very slow. So we don't actually need this. All right, because we already did the oil drop. So this is fine. We will need more water. This is carbon skin pretty well. Oh, I need to dump the water here. There we go. And then we could keep skimming. Oh, 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 what are you guys doing? Out of here, this is grounded. Oh, you still robbed us. What a guy. All right, so now we need the bins here. We will bring, how much do we need? Three tons of steel? Let's bring five. 
and then we need lead. Let's bring five tons of that as well. We have like a hundred tons of lead. And then we're gonna need copper. This is going to be 2,500. Miscellaneous stuff that we might want. Actually, would I want copper? I think I would want iron instead. Damn. I, mean, I wouldn't want to bring any of this then. Because the other refined metals might be better. But then it's like the tamer might not be on, so we won't have time to do that. We also want to feed in the oxygen. That is... This is actually fine. Fill up the suits. Alright, steel, lead, and then we need plastic. So... It's about 250 each. We probably don't need more than a ton. It's 250 each, right? 200. That's not bad. Alright, plastic. And then we need one for suits. And then we have a fourth bin. Is there anything we need in this? We have the igneous minerals there. Uh, steel, lead. We're taming metal volcanoes, so it should be fine. I think we'll need to bring a pip eventually. But I don't think we're at that point yet. And then we do have power from the charge. That's pretty good. Oh, we're powering the fridge. I guess that's fine. At least this way the food uh, doesn't rot anymore. 25%, yeah. And then toilet water wouldn't mind a little bit more. Alright, some of this is getting a little bit warm, so let me just do this. We're going to split the line and get some uh, fresh water out. Just going to need a little bit of toilet water. All right, we're gonna add more cold water in. Try to maintain temperature this way. It's a very jank cooling loop, <laughs> if I have to be completely honest. But it's helping, this used to be at 28 degrees. There we go. We're gonna do this, get our natural tunnel. And then the steam is actually ready. Oof. Yeah, that's fine, we have a lot of steam in there anyways. All right, so steam is charged. Uh, suits are charged. We just need to fill up these. Oh, they're not high priority. That's why. Let's go with that. No rating pipes? I didn't. This is not actually supposed to be a cooling loop. This is just cold water that I'm feeding out to the rockets for toilet water. <clears throat> it's just that they're colder now. <laughs> the water in here, it's 19 degrees. So I'm just passively using it to absorb a little bit of heat. I could make the upgrade, I just don't think it's worth it. Because it's not really supposed to be like a build. <laughs> it's not a permanent solution. It's a very temporary one. Alright, so we built that. So we're gonna do this. So we could drain the oil and then mop it. Wow. That was pretty fast. Alright, we're gonna do that. We probably don't need this anymore. I guess we do some cleanup today. Yeah, we'll do some cleanup today. So this is how many? One, two, three, six, nine, eighteen, and it's fifteen. That's what? Thirty-two? Thirty-three. This is thirty-three dupes. We get eleven per row. Okay, we get some more dupes. I might want to get another meal hall here. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I might go up to uh four to four. Add a add another eleven. I'm thinking about it. I don't think we will, though. Yeah, I don't think we will. Oh, there it is. Natural towel. Um, I think we do it like that. Yeah, it should be okay. And then we got to move a pip inside. All right, this pip is going to be the pip inside the kitchen. So each room has a pip, depending on the type of room you have. I think that's fair. All right, and I think, ooh, another shot, let's go. Oh, we never actually had something selected for this. We don't need the minerals, we have the food, plastic, steel, lead, metals on the other side. I think we're good. 
I think the only thing we need to do now is to make some suits, potentially. Alright, let's make three suits. There's some of them that are missing suits as well. It's probably okay. So this is the water storage. Drop off the water at the bottom. That's warm. That's why this is a warm area as well. We keep moving the hot water here. <laughs> it's done good though. The bottom of the map is at 30 degrees. I can't complain. Heat's being generated by that. CO2 is getting deleted. But this is cooling down quite drastically. Um, maybe we do want to bop the sporkids. There's no more CO2 in here. That's why. So once CO2 gets to the sporkids, they're gonna have you know they're gonna resurrect themselves. This is the only one that's actually alive. That one sucks because the sporkid itself is on neutronium. <laughs> That's absolute the worst you could have. Not gonna lie. All right, let's go that way. This is getting a cool. 70 something. Most of this is actually not that hot. I think we're just gonna mine through this. Yeah. Let's go here. Start mining out this way. This is kind of warm, but I think it's uh, not gonna actually cause any damage. We get the suit in. We got the toilet water. All right, we're great. We're gonna be flying back, boys. So who's the crew? This is Esme, Nonstop Naps, and Ravko. Yeah, that's that's the group. Let's go. I don't think there's anything we're missing. The fuel's topped off, so we make the mission back. Oxygen inside, 600 kilograms. We have extra suit, toilet water, 25 kilograms BBQ that doesn't rot. We're going to generate power as we fly there. The supplies are good. Yeah, we're going to be fine. We're going to let them fly off. We're going to head back and continue the build. Back at home, though, everything seems okay. So we're going to have to actually make the base a little bit better looking. We're going to try to set up some minor things. Oh, this uh, was supposed to be temperature plated. Ah, uh, yes. I guess we'll do it there. You can't put the temperature plates on the doors, it looks like. Ooh, sweet away. So we'll take these. This guy shouldn't be in that room anymore. Oh, and then we have this jank set up. I guess it's something. Mind that. We should be fine here. We got some long hairs. Consuming some oxygen, which is cool. Base is doing all right right now. It's going on greater. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's get up some drywalls, man. Let's go with the aquatic mosaic. Gonna get some bathroom stuff. And then we're gonna get the ceiling trim. The renamed ceiling trim. Dude, we need, I need to get blueprints for this. Make that look a lot better. It is jank, but you could move the middle door up one and build the temp shift plate, but don't. Oh, that's true. No, it's going to fall. It's going to fall. This is ice. So this is just going to try to soak up the item's heat. It'll be fine. It's ice. It should melt immediately and fall down. Hey, man, you're supposed to, you're supposed to melt. Oh, the doors, active tiles at the bottom, so it's not actually touching anything solid. So this is what happens when you have a temp shift plate not touching a solid tile. It takes a little bit long to melt. Active tile for the doors at the bottom. Man, that's why the doors are not really uh, changing temperature. The moment, though, that this becomes cold water, the doors are going to immediately freeze. Oh, you didn't see what I used for the material. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you thought I was just trying to just temp shift plate the bottom. I see you, I see you. Alright, this is going to be fine, though. From what I can tell. This looks like it's going to be fine. And it should buffer the heat here. It should. Ah, uh, yes. 
the pit planet the Weez War, and now it's cooling down the area. Looking good, looking good. I had that problem with trying to cool my transformers. Oh, with the temp shift plates, not knowing where the active towels is. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. Negative 6.9. Oh, dude, they built this immediately. Wow, that was fast. Dude, these guys are not messing around, dude. That was fast. That was actually kind of insane, the speed of which we actually got that done. Usually, it's where the power plug is at. Uh, the active tile, if you want to know the foolproof method, if you guys want to locate that every time, there's actually a trick. So anytime you build the building, uh, it doesn't matter what you're building. This is the easiest way to know. So we'll pick the jukebox. The active tile. You see my cursor on the grid? It's where the power line is, right? But if I move it to the left, it's still on the center. Your blueprint is always placed by the active tile. So wherever your cursor is, is where the active tile is when you move your blueprint. So in our case, it's the power tile in the center. For the mechanical surfboard, it is here on the left side, not the right side with the intake. With the cot, it is the bottom left, not the bottom right. This is also the tile you use for the auto sweeper. So if you're not familiar with something like setting up a kitchen, the grill tile is in the middle. That's also where you have to have within the auto sweeper range. That's also where the food drops when it's finished cooking. So you could use these little, uh, what do you call that? These, these uh, tells, I guess, to help you out with your build designs. But yeah, that's the easiest way. And it works with every building in the game. It's coded into the game that the blueprint system works like that. So this is never gonna change. So new buildings, if you forget, this is the only rule you have to remember. Active tiles, sweeping tiles, they're both the same tile. It's also below that where you want to put that weight switch tile uh, for the lights. For the lights. A weight switch. And they're talking about the weight plate. Is this what you're talking about? Wait, for the lights. I'm not sure if I'm following. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm following. I'm sorry. I think I understand, but I'm not sure. We have point nine. Oh, wait. That's fine. Not grounded. not grounded there we go oh the barbecue rotted why is this oh i didn't actually put this uh plugged in oh dang that's bad we gotta go back home <laughs> we gotta go back home i didn't plug in the fridge and i can't plug this in either oh man yeah we gotta go back that was a waste of time. <laughs> All right, I made mistakes. To get the well-lit bonus. Yeah, I was right. So people like put the light control for workstations to get the lit work buff without using extra power when they are not at the station. The weight play. Oh, I know what you're saying now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. What Torvac is saying is that that same tile that we're referencing is also the duplicate operation tile. That's actually very important because if you're doing something like the Rock Crusher, uh, you're actually the weight tile is at the center. Although the animation, your dupe is on the side hitting the button, right? So you're going to think that you're going to want to put it here because when he's crushing the stuff, he's standing on this side. But the active tile is in the middle. So this is actually where you want to put your weight plate sensor. If you want to have that for automation. That is also the same tile for light for well-lit workspace. That's what you guys are talking about, right? 
We need to be able to hit that tile in the middle for us to at least get the duplicate bonuses. There we go. I was I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, oh no, I see what you're saying now. That made sense. That made sense. This took me a little bit to really just uh, understand that. My bad, my bad. All right, we're gonna bop these. Uh, I'm gonna want to move my triage cons just because I don't think that's a good spot. So we're gonna move our triage cons to here. We're gonna bop these. Uh, we're also gonna put our copper doors in. This is gonna be a bedroom. We're gonna have to change this up. Now, of course, we have plastic, so it's gonna be nice. Oh, I should probably do the plastic upgrades. Yeah, time for the plastic upgrades. Let's go, y'all. We're gonna go the Barbie life. Plastic everything. Plastic the world. Y'all know what it is. Oh, this is staying cold. Nice. Dude, man, look at this Wii's word. I put a Wii's word up here. Because this is warm. And look at this. It's cooled down. This is nice. Alright, this is trying, but dude, the food is hot. God damn, that's 80 Celsius. Private bedrooms. We're gonna do a mix. We're gonna do a mix. First, it's. Uh, we'll do a mix. So these are gonna be the non basic beds. And then I wanna drywall this up. Um, oh, we got the dice. Let's see, what kind of patterns can we make? All right, looks like we have a r red pattern because we have a red tile, red diagonal, and a red circle. Okay. It was challenging for me as well. I cannot tell you how many times I had to build my weight plates and lights to get things right. <laughs> Honestly, it's not intuitive. So I would say that it's like, while that sounds about right, yo man, they don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. Really do be like that though sometimes. Uh... All right. Now right, we get this design, and I want to copy that design here. Uh, yeah. There we go. And then we have a center design we could do. This is going to be like that. go and then we'll add diamonds here nice design nice design so it's not repeating it's a uh, it's an actual pattern it's the mamba eyes hey man Timo, why you gotta call me out, man? That was exactly what I was trying to draw. <laughs> that was exactly what I was trying to draw, man. I was trying to get the uh, Mamba in as best as we can. All right, that's gonna be first set. Are we there yet? Nope, point two. All right, let's speed this up. I wanted the fire pole here. Alright, let's do that. Let's remove the metal tiles. This is chilling. So why red? As it is there not a black set? Uh I didn't have the specific circle piece. I have it for green and red only. I could do a green design with a similar pattern. But yeah, I didn't have the uh the rounded what do you call that? The wedge for the uh, charcoal. It's, it's, yeah. Look at the draw sometimes. Which one you get? Oh, we're in orbit? Nice. 
That means... Oh, we can't land. I forgot about that. I gotta open this. Come on, guys. We have power, right? Oh, dude. Do we have enough power? Oh, my God. I was 99% opened. Dude, I was 99% opened. Oh, my God. If you guys didn't know, the rocket actually waits. <laughs> In Space Out DLC. Oh, dude. This is so bad. This is so bad. It takes 600 seconds when the bunker doors are unpowered to open. 600. And when it is powered, it takes 60. Oh, my God. Did we landing? Right, it's open. That's open. What's my car? Dude, where's my car? There it is. Nice. Back it up. Back it up. Good stuff. All right. Sometimes you got to back it up, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right, so this is the Mars X. Uh, that's these guys. We're going to do a suit swap. That's going to be Esme, Ravco, and Nonstop Naps. Come on, guys. I believe it's 60 seconds if it's powered. It might be faster to 30, to be honest. But the opening and closing of the bunker doors, it is a slow process, man. Very slow process. Ravco, man. Oh, it's 44 and 39. My bad. My bad, my bad. Was that changed? I haven't I haven't calculated that since DLC dropped. <laughs> that was years ago. Maybe maybe I'm just uh forgetting. Is that from the wiki? I would believe it. Oh man, put the suit on. What are you doing? How long? It, and it's 600 seconds when it's unpowered? Dude, it is slow when it's unpowered, man. Absolutely the slowest. Alright, so we can do this now. We can sweep the items. We're going to decon the rover. And then this is the initial build we have to build. Insulated tiles. We have Ignis Rock everywhere. We have 192 tons. Duplicate operation required. Yeah, it's because the rover is dead. Oh, 400 seconds. Okay, okay. Thank you for clarifying that, Torvag. Appreciate it, appreciate it. I wish I could copy this and move it somewhere else because I want to reference it. <laughs> I want to reference this. All right, I'll put it here. So we're going to do one, two, three, four. And then it's going to be centered off of that. Oh, I needed glass. That's what I needed. Oh, shit. No, I need a diamond. Oh, no, I didn't bring the diamonds. Wait, do we have diamond here? No, right? There's there's no way there's diamond here. This is, this is not a diamond planet. Blueprint mod. <laughs> Copy and paste, move it over. Yeah. Uh, I didn't bring the diamond. Okay, I'm just going to put plastic tiles there then. So it's centered off of this. Uh, How is it? Yeah, so that's active, and that's true center. So that means we have this design. And then we do that and that. We do that. So it's left and right, here and here, and then the iron in the middle. We sweep all of that from the center. Yeah, I think that works. And then from here... The design's like that, and then it's 10. And then it's 10 on this side. And then that's two steam turbines. And then we do the rail setup in the middle, and then we gotta do the V shape. I think that's great though. All right. So we understand that we have to do all that. 
what we need to do then is... Hmm. The funny thing with this is that my dupes don't really need to breathe. Because this is a very breathable planet, even though it's opened. There's so much polluted oxygen, oxygen in here, it's kind of wild. But I'll keep the suits on. I'll keep the suits on. Uh, we could run across the top, that's fine. We need to trim the bottom, actually. We're probably not going to drain the water on the side. We probably drain this, though, because we have to. And then we just have to mine everything. Oh, powering the fridge takes that much power, huh? All right, so that would mean that if we want to live here a little bit longer, we should try to do a setup with this. So this is, yeah, we have a lot of gold here. Oh, this is not even a lot of watts. Oh, I could just use that power line. Oh, nice. You thug life. Yeah. Uh, construction. Let's speed this up. This is not grounded, so we have toilet water and food. Nice. That way we can keep the fridge running, and then we don't run out of food. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now I hate doors. It's not clear on the spread of the speed of the doors. Mechanized airlocks are without power. It takes about one second. Man, your airlock's one second faster and unpowered. <laughs> Honestly, I would compare it as three seconds, one seconds for powered, unpowered. That's how I would look at it. Three seconds, one second. Ah, there's some coffee, y'all. Sorry about that. The reason why it's three second, one second, if you're curious, it's because that's how my automation works. This is seven seconds. So first close, second close, and my buffer's at three seconds. So as soon as the first one closes, the second one starts closing three seconds afterwards, and it's already at a perfect seal, right? So that's closed, and then that starts closing. So I want to say three seconds. And then I give a one second buffer so that they both open at the same time. So it's a little bit over three, I think. Something like that. Hey, Tulsi, do you know if there's a site that shows square in the game? The spot where super needs to re uh, reach, give, take. Also know the rewards, garments. Uh, Dark Matter, we just went over that. That's funny. Uh, there's no site. There's an in-game check if you didn't know about that. So the easiest thing about it is if you didn't know, when you're building something on the blueprint menu, you're always on that specific tile. This cursor and the blueprint is going to move with you when you move the building. That location is going to change for each building, but it's never going to change, right? Like, it's always going to be in the middle for this one. This is always going to be at the bottom, right? So that is going to be, let's use the grill for example. There's three tiles, right? Left, right, and middle. The middle one is where the power is. The middle one is also going to be where your dupe is cooking. So that's going to be the tile you need for light. That's also going to be the tile you need for auto sweeping. That's all three of those things. Duplicate operation tile, active tile for the building, sweeping tile, all are on the same tile. So for the most part, that's going to be the easiest way to do that. Don't even need a mod. That's going to be something that's always in the game. You never have to worry about or have to know in the back of your hand because you could check at any time. Second question is, do you know how the printed rewards, garments work, the cosmetics? Yes, that's actually really simple. Every Thursday, every Thursday, and that's going to be based off of where I live. This is uh, Pacific Standard Time, GMT, uh, minus eight. Every Thursday, around noon time, I want to say, I'm not sure if it's actually noon, there is a reset. That reset allows you to get three blueprints off of this button. Those three blueprints are cumulative, meaning that you could get up to three. If you don't play long enough, you miss out. So you get three blueprints. If you don't open the blueprints, you could open them next week, and then you could still add more uh, by playing the game next week. So every week you have to play around three hours. You will get your first blueprint around 30 minutes to an hour in, and then the second one is around the same amount of time. The third one is a couple hours. 
I want to say. So I think if you play three to four hours over the course of the week, you'll be able to get all of them. And that's it. So it, this is a, if you play it, you'll get it. If you don't play it, you'll miss out. So you could kind of argue it's kind of like dailies, right? That's kind of a crude thing. It, it is, but I understand why they have it there. They want you to play the game. That's really all it is. Just play the game every day. It looks good on them, on the Steam charts, right? Active users. So that's, that's the incentive right there, if that makes sense. All right. But yeah, that should be it. Timers are probably a good way to measure how long doors take to open and close in-game. It is. There is something to, I mean, there is a problem with automation in this game. So it's like, while it's probably the best, it's still not insanely accurate or that accurate. Oh, the water got uh, pulled out. Nice. So we can start lining up the bottom of the tank, but we don't want that. What we'll likely want to do is start trimming top down. So we need to see how long this needs to be. This is 12, and then this is 11. Okay. Wow, that's exactly where my ladder is. Okay, that's good. That works out then. Yeah, that means... We have this and that. I could trim that, then we could do that. And then I want to trim the other things, which is fine. And then on this side, it's 12. So we want to trim up to here. All right, so I want to mine that. All right, we'll trim this at the bottom as well. And then from the bottom, we could go up two. Having a rover here would probably be really nice. I like the Oni, the, these are cosmetics, not loot boxes with energy or whatever. Yeah, I think games that have a forced gameplay loop like that, where if you don't play, you miss out on actual progression. I feel like those are poorly designed games and they're predatory. I'm not a fan of this. Good night, y'all. See y'all in the morning. Have a good one, Abductor. Rest will rest easy, and we'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll still be alive uh, when you wake up. Hey, how's it going? Can I ask you a question? The flower with the zombie spores, does the spores exist in water when I open the cage and I let it spill water in? Uh, so the first thing's first. The germs only multiply if you have the plants. So the sporkid germ, you're talking about this one. This germ does not multiply unless you have a plant. If the plant is gone, the germs actually will slowly die off. The only environment in which the germs actually can survive, not multiply, but just survive, is CO2, carbon dioxide. So if you have carbon dioxide and the germs are on it, you're gonna wanna probably radiate it, you know, put the wheeze ward, bop the germs. That way you don't have to worry about it. That being said, zombie spores in general dies off on almost everything. So it survives, oh, it survives in a lot of the stuff in the oil biome, but then it's it, it dies off of most things. If it's on a solid tile, if it's on a liquid, it will just die off slowly. It could be on a gas, but nothing really happens. Now that being said, zombie spores could only affect your dupes if it's affected your oxygen or polluted oxygen. Zombie spores specifically has to be breathed in. Which means if you can't breathe in the zombie spore, so it's on water, it's on oil, it's fine, right? It's only if it contaminates your oxygen that you're scared. That's the only way for you to get sick. Otherwise, you should never get sick. Um, of course, that is going to be disease by disease case. Zombie spores has to be breathed in. Food poisoning has to be eaten food. So that means you could have food poisoning germs on the oxygen and you could breathe out oxygen and it's perfectly fine. Food poisoning has to be specifically eating food. Radioactive contaminants is by being, uh, being in high, radi uh, ra uh, high radiation is going to be how you get that. Slime lung is the same thing. You have to breathe in the slime lung. But yeah, the diseases all have a specific trigger for it to happen. Lastly, does anyone know a replacement mod for one that showed their EXP for each skill? The current one is outdated. Ooh. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't have anything like that, so I can't help you with that dark matter. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. They don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. Really do be like that, though, sometimes. I just hate to see it. Alright, so we're trapped over here. Oh, it's an oxygen thing. Okay. Uh, we know we want to trim this. We want to trim all that. We know we need to do it. We're also going to do this. Oops. Because we need to uh, basically just bob all the tiles. I know you aren't that big at the Oni Mod. I just don't need that information. <laughs> I hate to say it. That's all it is. It's not that I'm not into it. I just... Like, that's information I don't need. <laughs> I saw that too. I saw that too. Hopefully they do good though. That doesn't really feel like they will though. Oh, well, they're not powered. Okay. Ralph goes gonna sleep. Nice. We're gonna do a suit swamp. It's quality of life, not a huge deal. They just need to give the mod six months to fix their game. <laughs> It'd be like that sometimes, man. The fun of mods personalizing your game. Yeah, I get that. I just... Personally, I don't need any of the modded stuff. That's, that's all I'm saying. It's perfectly fine to play with it. Don't let me stop you, you know? I think it's fine. I'm just not a fan. Come on, man, we need to swap your suit. Alright, Ravko, it's gonna be a suit swap. Yo, wait, wait. Right here. Did you pick up the suit? Oh, you rude guy. Ultimate rude guy. He picked up his suit and he put it away. Oh my god. Right here, man. Wear the suit. What are you doing? Oh, he was outside in the steam. Everyone inside, man. Y'all are causing problems. Everyone inside. What are you guys doing, man? Yeah, you guys, you guys have to do that. We got to charge the oxygen. Stand up here. All right, this one, Esme. Non-stop naps. There we go. These guys, man. Such problem childs. All right, so we gotta do that. And we gotta do this and then those two. Gotta trim that. Technically, we could trim this. This is the only active tile. And I guess we could bop this. We do have the ladders on that side. Buried object discovered. Oh, they have this now? For when you dig up geysers? Nice. In two minutes... Oh, no way sand fell on that pedestal on this planet, and now it's mad. Okay. And then flooding on the AETN still. That's on this planet. Okay. Trap dupe? No, no one's trapped. It's fake trapped, man. So when the dupes ran out of oxygen on this planet, they have a fake trapped notification. Oh, no, he's trapped. Oh, shit. He's trapped. He's actually trapped. He's gonna self trap him? Nah, he's gonna self free himself. Let's go. Nah, man, he's he's good at digging. He freed himself. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. <laughs> it, it, yo, you guys were right. I'm gonna say this, man. You guys are right. He was trapped. <laughs> he was. But man, oh man, I was like, yeah, man, not today. We're gonna save him, man. The best way we know how. Dupe's gonna dupe. Yep, true, man. Every time. 
They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Alright, so I think this is 22, right? So steel? 24. So I actually never have to worry about this. And this would be steel wall. I should have a steel wall here, is what I'm thinking. And I would want to do something like that. Because I would put steel wall here. That would make a lot of sense. And then we got to do the top. Got to do that, that, that. We do want to mine this though. I guess we can put a ladder here just to get that set up. How's people of chat doing though? Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope everyone's having a good days and a good Tuesdays. Appreciate y'all hanging out with your boy too legit. Oh, I have to decon this so the items fall through. <laughs> That's so, so weird. All right. What are you doing over the volcanoes? We're going to combine all three metal volcanoes into one tamer. <laughs> it's going to be good times, I think. I think. Uh... And then nothing else is falling down, right? We won't need the ladder then. And then this is... 10, 11. That should be correct. Items might be falling down that side. And we appreciate you streaming. Aw, shout out to Leo, man. Thanks for the kind words. I see you over there, Leo. Now we're going to want to sweep that. And then this is going to four tile room, right? So that's going to be here. That should line up. And then we're going to have that weird diamond set up here, right? So we'll do it like this. And then we know it's going to be double steel mesh into an insulated tile set up here. Which means this is going to be shaped like this. I should be able to climb up and over. We won't put the insulated tile because I know that we're going to have to be able to build everything. So I need everything within range. And I don't want everything like kind of self-sealed. Everything looks like it's good. This pulls out, this pulls out, and then this goes here. And then this is gonna likely be... We'll do it like that for now. It's off by one. Because the center is not actually supposed to be uh, four. The center is supposed to be three. So this side is 12, and this side... Whoa, wait. Is it off? That's 13. Oh, shit. That's off. Yeah, it is off. A hey, good eye. Yo, good eye. Goddamn. I didn't even see it. Because this should be 10. And then this should be 10. Yeah. Good eye, good eye. I see you over there, Timo. I see you over there, man. This is four. We know that we want a ladder here. And then I know that I want to steal auto sweeper here. Here we go. Legit, it happened to me a couple times. Salt water from liquid lock turned into water. Can you tell me why? Salt water from the liquid lock turned into water. Is that a hot area, Dominoes? Do you, like, what's the temperature of that zone, if you don't mind me asking? Wait, 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 wait. Change the suit. Oh, and he was, oh, he fell asleep. How goes the metal setup? We're doing it right now. We're going to be uh, building out the design. It's going to be, for the most part, I don't think it's going to be too bad. It has to be like that, right? So we'll do it like that. And we need it. 
the fallen to the top. So we'll probably have to do these two. And then this is effectively just like that. And it spills directly in. There's going to be a wall here. This is likely going to be a ladder. Domino's though, let me know. Salt water from a liquid log turning into water. Could you tell me why? That would be the salt water boiling. And then you should have a tile of salt. Like, uh... No, it's 26. It's pour salt water. The first tile of the liquid log. Ah, uh, how much mass is it? Is it a lot of water or a little bit? Because what could happen, and it's very common, if you have a drop lock, you could carry something hot through it, and if that is over 100 degrees, you could boil it. And then it just flashes into water. So if you have like hot abyssalite, anything over 100 degrees, and your dupe's carrying it, right through the liquid lock that happens if it's very low mass that's very common to happen that's actually why i stop using uh anything other than oil for the drop locks because anything slightly over 100 you're gonna immediately boil it for some reason sometimes not sure though if that's what you're running into but yeah check out to see if there's anything hot that they might be bringing inside yeah, probably want to increase the mass of the liquid. See, the problem with that is, is if they're doing a drop lock like this, you can't really increase the mass. That's the problem with that. Right? Because if you have, like, grams maybe like this, it's it's high, highly likely it's a drop lock. And in those cases, yeah, you can't really do too much. Can't really do too much. Alright, we got to do some suit swaps. Oh, dude. Oh, I never connected the battery. Oh, dude. No way. There we go. We have the power now. The food don't spoil on me. Yes, it's no longer spoiling. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not... That's that's probably fine. That's actually probably fine. Thanks for the answer. Next, I'll only try oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I gotta watch out for that, man. The hot items. Even Abyssalite, that doesn't typically have a lot of conductivity, it could actually um, flash that, and it's a big culprit usually. They will typically have those uh, problems like that. Okay, so we do need better bedrooms back at home, so we could look like we actually have a base. This is probably going to end up being a bedroom, most likely. So we'll actually set that up. 64 is here. Alright, so that means we do that. We do that. I'll probably change up where this ladder is. Oh, that might become a bedroom too then. Oh, it's close. It's actually really close. I might actually do that. I Realistically though, I think I move this over to the side and we don't use this ladder here. We do like a, an adjustment ladder. This is probably going to get removed as well, most likely. Because I probably want to pull the tiles through. Having this here made sense, though, for the teleporter. But it's like, I can't use these, like, partial rooms for anything. Out of curiosity, why do you always cancel after connecting pipes? I checked, but there is never any action to undo my... Oh. Uh... This is probably the best way to show you. I disconnect this pipe, right? I know that this is made out of igneous. Let's say off chance... I reconnect it with granite, right? They're gonna rebuild this with granite. That's why I cancel. Now, a lot of times I get I get lazy. I'll have disconnected pipes and I'll just use regular pipes. So they're gonna replace this insulated with regular. So I cancel it. That's, that's the reasoning why I do that. In the case that I did it over here, it's because these were different uh, wire types. So we have a conductive wire and a thin wire. So I didn't want them to replace the conductive wire on the uh, hamster wheel. That way we could still just draw power to this. This guy's going to be running non-stop though. He's going to be trying to power 100,000 watts. <laughs> oh god. I actually probably want to automate this. 
just because <laughs> they're gonna run on this like all day oh man you were wise <laughs> dude he's non-stop running dude he's giving up the nap life they don't think it'd be like it is but it do dude he's gonna become a uh, marathon running athlete the marathon runners man they be running hard they be running hard oh uh, i didn't have refined metal oh man so i do need to bring it that's so counterintuitive that's actually really counterintuitive i'm not a fan of that in order for me to get the metal volcanoes to work I need seam turbines, but I didn't bring refined metal because I was like, oh yeah, we got we got the metal volcanoes over there. And I was thinking that we could just use the metal, but we can't use it if it's hot. <laughs> uh, damn it. We'll come back with that. Dupes really love the wheel too much, yeah, man. Dupes really are just hamsters, dude. If you guys didn't know. Wait, why is Timo here? Timo, what you doing over here? And you have no food? Oh, you were getting a salt. You were the salty boy. That's right. How much salt do we have? 25 tons. That's not bad. So we need the salt for the spice grinder, by the way. Yeah, we'll come back. Timo, Timo's fine. Timo's fine. Timo, we'll send you home, man. Let's go, buddy. You're going to eat well again. Good stuff, good stuff. Zero Dragon, welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? Ah, the water warmed up. Ah, uh, there was so much heat here that the water was not able to cool anything down. Oh, that's really sad. That's actually really sad. That means the amount of heat here is, like, very, very strong. All right, let's put the tile there. We're going to need to uh, mop this up soon. We have more ice, right? Yeah. Since we have more ice, we're just going to start icing this. Alright, we need to decon this. Can we mop? Alright, so this mopped up water is going to get dropped off here. Right, should be good. Trace amounts of water. Alright, well, we're going to let them sweep all that, do their thing. They're going to need to sweep this 100% of the time. Oh, Esme needs a new suit. Ravco needs one as well. Alright, he's eating. Can't really do that. Uh, and your Draco ranch that up. How do you evolve the Dracos? Uh, I have their eggs go directly to the evolution chamber. So I never have extra Dracos, if that makes sense. I technically do. I just double up my shearing station with my uh, extra station, effectively. Give me one sec, though. I gotta swap this guy's suit. Oh, no, he's dead. No, he's alive. Come on, man. You got popped eardrums. Timo's back home, man. He's back home. You gonna wear that? Nice, he is. Alright, so other people gonna come back? Yeah, they need to change their suit so they can work a little bit better. I gotta wait for them to go eat. Ravko lives. He's chilling, man. Yeah, they're gonna have a bad time right now. Oh, they're sweeping. Dude, that's really what they're doing? Aw, oh, man. Can we put this low priority? So they do other jobs. Oh, you're going home? Come on, go home. Tired. Go back inside. Oh, you're just going to sleep right there. Ah, oh, exhausted. Classic. All right, so... The mayor. The Draco Ranch setup. Uh, let's look at this one. We have our eggs here. This is going to be the shearing station. 
so this is going to be where we get all the resources from the Drekos. Drekos specifically have to be sheared for you to get the resource, and for you to get the maximum return, they have to be in hydrogen, and they need to be tamed. If you tame them, they're not going to have a wild modifier that's negative. Because uh, if you have a wild Dreco, their scales grow back slower. So you want to tame them if you can. That being said, we have eight Drecos inside here. And then we have another eight in here, they're all in egg form. And then what happens is, is that um, all the extra eggs go directly to the evolution chamber. So when they hatch, they're already in the water and evolving almost immediately. So that's all it is. We have two sets, the breeding room, the shearing room, the eggs from this room. If they uh, if they die here, they're gonna get moved from this room to this room. And then everything extra goes into there. So it's all in one, as long as you're able to provide for these guys. Esme inside, let's go. Esme is gonna take a dump, cool. Esme is hungry though. Dude, they're getting like nothing done. Yeah, that's what they're evolving into, Susumu. Be like that sometimes. Idleness on the original planet, okay. Come on, Mendez. We gotta get this guy a new suit. So he could actually breathe a little bit better. We need him to be able to uh, work efficiently. And by having a suit, they're going to be able to breathe. Yeah, they can't even sleep properly. Evolve with the barbecue. There we go, non-stop naps. That's the next guy we need. Come on, non-stop naps. We need you. You just picked up the suit? Oh, you rude guy. Oh, he put on... Oh! Come on, man. You were supposed to put on the suit. You put it on and you took it off? What was that? That's jank, man. That's jank. It's nap time. Yeah. He does that non-stop, though. I guess we might as well change your suit as well. He doesn't need to change it. He still has oxygen bar. Actually, can we see durability? Is that on here? That's not on here, really? That's one thing I feel like is really jank. You can never see suit durability, right? Like you could see the suit. 26 kilograms, but there's no durability stat. I wish we had that, so that I could actually make a conscious decision whether or not I want to have him put a new suit or not. I'll make him put a new suit. 6%. Oh, man. So if it reaches zero, the oxygen inside becomes a canister, and we lose it, effectively, because we can't pump it back in. And I would want to have that, just for the knowledge. Alright, so... We let him run here way too long. Goddamn. I guess it's fine. <laughs> and then... Yeah, we need them sweeping. We need them to work. Uh, we're gonna cancel the sweeping. We're just gonna want them to build. It should be fine. So these are gonna be steam turbines. Shouldn't be too bad. Right? That makes sense. We shouldn't need to go outside on this side. Right? I don't need to walk on the top. And then on this we do, because this is going to spill out and before spilling back in. Uh, we could just have it spill and then just have this be the wall. Because that's what I'm doing here, and it should be fine. We also want the steel airflow here. This also allows me room for a pump, technically. 
and then I think we might use... Oh, it's here? All right, we'll just do it like that. Because I think I'm going to need a liquid lock here to go in and out to this build. I won't be able to do it on this side. I'm, I'll have to do it on this side. Oh, that's kind of a pain. Because my ladder is right here. So I have to go all the way around. <laughs> boom, boom, boom to go inside. Wow, that's a long travel. Be like that sometimes, though. Wait, why are you still running this? Stop, man. We got the big battery right here. What are you doing? What are you doing? We got the big battery. All right, they're working hard, though. So, uh, back home. Do we have diamonds? 17 tons. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, we came back. Oh, my, my barbecue has been rotting in there, I think. Okay, we need to do this. And then we need this. No meteor showers. I need to do that for scanning. And, well, I need to do it for pretty much everything else. Uh, this is all good water. Alright. Now we just do it like this. And we're just going to run everything inside to re-chill it back. Dude, it, it kind of works. Maybe I should try to do that system. It's such a weird system. But I could use that as kind of like a cooling loop because this is cold. And it is working. That's the funny thing. It is working. It's coming back colder, technically. Alright, so this is done. Uh, we need to do a temp shift plate here. We want more cold water, effectively. Alright, get the ice, do the thing. Sulfur is at 10 tons. Oh, wow, we're getting, like, all the plants now, though. Nice. Uh, now we need to do grub for preserves. This is... Roasted grub nuts. Oh, they're not spiced. We have everything. We just need someone to do this. All right. We might not have enough cooks. So we have a, a third person, right? That had cooking interests. We're going to need new cooks now. Oh, it's Geek. Oh, snap. Iron Chef Geek. Okay. We'll give Geek uh, building skill as well. Oh, Geek and Julie. Julie's also a rancher. Alright, so... Geek is gonna cook. It has some building skill. It's not bad. Julie is gonna also cook, but she also is gonna do some ranching. Nice. I'm alive. Welcome in, Alpa. I see you over there. How are you? Hello, hello. All right, so the spice grinder should be fine. With more cooks, we should have everyone working, and it should be nice. Also, don't have to worry about uh, the food going bad, I think. Now, my sulfur is going down. I'm a little bit worried. Because we have sulfur, right? We have 14 tons. We're just waiting to shoot it back. All the sulfur is still here, though. Alright, let's see what we're doing on this side. Still working, still building. Can't complain. Yeah, they're working hard. I'm thinking if we do the... I mean, I, we will need a liquid lock here. Alright, so I think that's fine. And then we're going to do it like this. That's probably really jank, but I think that's okay. Oh, ha. Yeah, I got to do a temp liquid lock here. Oh, how did that flip? What the heck was that? 
All right, so that's going to be water of some sort. We have water here, right? <laughs> Making a liquid log might be a little bit problematic. Hopefully, we'll be able to build everything, though. All right, so they should be fine. We'll let them alone. How is the rocket over here? We do want to do the refill. That is connected. Looks good. The suit should be fine. It's powered now, so the food should no longer... Yes, no more actual deterioration. We have enough water. It should be not bad. I guess it wouldn't mind some more water in here. So let's just uh, reroute this. All right. Pumping up the steam. All right, so this is good now. Do that. And then we're just going to loop the water again until it cools it down. It's free cold energy. Might as well. And, dude, this... this Man. This absorbs heat, like, immediately. This is supposed to be zero degrees. And, like, in no time flat. We're already moving it out. Alright, let's mop it up. We'll move some more ice down there. We just need to keep chilling this when we can. This is probably also the culprit. Let's move the refined carbon here. And it's going to fall straight down. That way the heat goes down to the bottom. We have a printout over here. Oh, it's a Poke Shell baby. Yeah, I'll take that for the line. We got some Pip babies. We need to move one of the Pip babies in here. And we got to upgrade the room. So we're going to get portraits here now. Let's go with copper. Yeah. Everyone gets a picture. Who's trapped? Usually that just means someone's out of breath. Alright, so you're gonna be here. What? Oh, what was that? It glitched out. Alright, Esme, this is gonna be yours instead. Nice. So we're out of oxygen? Is that true? We are. Okay. So whatever is here is whatever we have remaining. That's fine. Alright, so let me do this guy. There we go. Rav goes here. He's eating. That's going to be okay. I want to give him this suit just so that we could spread out the oxygen evenly. He's going to nap. No nap. Come on, let's go. There we go. Alright. We're getting there, boys. We're getting there. We got steel right here. We could pick that up. That's nice. This is there. We need to seal this up. The Abyssalite needs to get moved. We could probably still use these items for the build because there's some igneous here. Which probably should be okay. We do have the aqua tuners we could try to build as well. We want them in the corners. And then, yeah, this should be alright. We'll have to come back. We're gonna need diamonds. I might bring water with us. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think there's enough water for us to use. Everything's polluted. Can we trust that? Everything's polluted. It's gonna just constantly off gas. Oh, we have oil in here. Ooh, we got oil. Right? Oh, we do. Let's go. I forgot we had a canister inside. Yeah, so we can make a drip lock. That's actually ideal. Drip lock's probably the best we can make. So we will have to vacuum everything before we seal everything up. So the top side vacuum makes sense. Looks like we could try to do a liquid lock here. That might be what we want to do. So if we do do that...
it would probably be something like this. Wait, is there more? Okay, we don't need to do this. There we go. Alright, gotta build that there. Oh, and I forgot to, uh... Yep, this is jammed. Classic. Uh, we need to connect this. So this is ready now, right? We're gonna go back. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's a couple dots there I want to check out. We'll generate power this way. Toilet's fine. Everything's okay. I forgot to ground it, but it's fine. And crew launch. Let's go. We don't need... Yeah, we have everything. Plastic. We're going to do telescoping. We have food here that's not going to rot. 20 kilograms. Should be great. There we go. Sieve it better. Hmm. I didn't consider it yet, but sieving the polluted water might have been a nice option. We did have the power. Did we have sand on this planet? That would have been the only thing we needed. Can you use... Yeah, you can use regolith. Technically, that would have been fine. Powered fridge. Yeah, I'm using spice. So that actually means that we're doing pretty good. <laughs> so if you didn't know, we're running a spiced food system. Uh, spiced food with the freshener spice. And you uh, combine that with CO2 environment and powered refrigerators. You get infinite storage. I mean, not infinite storage. You get um, non-perishable food. So in CO2 and powered, you regenerate freshness. Just powered, but spiced is no change. So in this environment, my food is actually uh, regrowing. I don't know what's the proper word for this. This is not legit. Uh, the food could be not 100% fresh, but then it will become 100% fresh inside of the rocket though the food itself has no change zero change per cycle and that's because it's only inside of a power fridge and there's no co2 environment if there was co2 this would actually regenerate from stale to 100 fresh so that's why we're using the powered fridge it's not bad it's just you know you gotta have salt you gotta have the wood wait how does it get fresher? Uh, let's go back. So if I click on my food, if I click on the barbecue, my freshness is positive. It's usually negative. Don't get that twisted. So negative means you're rotting. Positive means I am becoming enlightened. And eating a bite of this will make you a god. So just like that, we uh, hit him with the business. Yeah, man, you got to season your food, dude. The only way to do it. All right, we're going to do the setup over here. Once we finish the ladders, we'll do the setup. Nice. All right, so it's here. It's here, here. That's news to me. Hey. Hey, man. They call it the forbidden fruit. They said some about some guy named Adam ate it or something like that. I don't know, man. Did that work base game? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if you get this base game. Do you get Spice Grinder base game? I'm, I forget. That was added in via story traits, right? So I think both versions of the game get that. It is. Okay, if it is in base game, you can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. The grinders, yeah, then you could do it. Perfectly fine. The mechanics are the same. The food preservation is the same mechanics. So you would do the same thing. Uh, I will say that you have options though. Because you could technically do a reverse fridge. It's one of the funnier things, man. So this is at the bottom because the CO2 is a heavy gas. You could actually put the fridges hanging from the ceiling and have that be in hydrogen. I've done that before. <laughs> so it looks really weird. Your fridges are just sitting in a pool of hydrogen. You could do that as a design as well. But yeah, you could use different gases as long as you get a sterile environment. That CO2, chlorine, hydrogen gas. 
Uh, I believe that natural gas and sour gas do not help the food. Oxygen is the same category. Pollutants are polluted oxygen. That actually speeds up the rotting rate. So it, the food rots faster if you have polluted oxygen in the area. But yeah, that should be it. Alright, boys, we need to mine this up. Let's get some more ice. So they left. The steam went out. Nice. Let's get another temp shift plate till this cools down, dude. Like, my god. Any automation to not overproduce food. You can. It's it's actually pretty simple. Um, the kitchen. You actually have uh, input. And then you would just run it from a fridge. <laughs> it's actually that simple. So, uh, fridges are effectively a smart battery, if you guys did not know that. So you change the slider here. And that's your smart battery uh, slider, effectively. And that means you could change that automation value to 100 kilograms, or as low as like 10 or 1. And then when it reaches that value, you could just disable the grills. And the automation would be just like this. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing. It's just like that. Now, of course, you're going to have to play around with it, because depending on your colony size, 100 kilograms is not going to be enough food. And you would typically want this for cooked food. So if I have a barbecue uh, storage bin here, I would probably want to dedicate one of my grills to that and do it like that. That way, once I have enough barbecue, we stop making barbecue. And the recipe on this grill would be... Uh, this would be the... Uh, whatchamacallit? What am I talking about, man? God damn it. This would be only recipe with this would only be barbecue. Domino says it might be a port switch. Uh, let me read this real fast. Did I mess that up? Full, not full. So... Automation. Green when full, red not full. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah, so Domino's is right. You need a simple not gate. You just gotta flip the signal. So it's gotta be like this. Right, feed it into a knock gate, feed it into the grill. Make sure that there's no wire connecting like that in the middle. You could barely tell, but it's there. You wanna cut that. But yeah, you could do something like that. Another one could be if you don't wanna use fridges. And let's say that you use the classic design, the G, right? And then you have an oil drop right here, and then you have a metal tile right here, and then you have your food sitting on top. If you have that storage tile design, what you would actually want to do is replace the metal tile with the weight plate. This is going to basically uh, make it so that... How do I say this? Once you have enough weighted food, it's going to stop and set a red signal and just disable the grills. Now, if you're talking about growing food or ranching, you can't. That's going to have to be math that you have to do, and you have to balance out the number of crops in your colony that way. You could only really stop overproducing food by not cooking it, realistically. So, yeah... If you want to have food not overproduced, you will have to plant just enough plants. If you are ranching, you might want to reduce it a little bit. If you're doing infinite, if you're not doing infinite storage and you only have so many fridges, that could be one. Second thing could be is also um, you don't want to burn through your resource that you're using for fertilizer, right? Or uh, whatever it is, food type you're going through. So you don't want to over ranch, overgrow food, and just burn through the resource. That could be pretty bad, so... I could see that being a reasoning why. I might be running out of sulfur, man. I might actually want to stop by this planet. <laughs> hey, we're getting a payload. Just as I said that. Nice. We need to go back and get some sulfur, I think. Or try to get some more uh, radiation on this. Because it's like... I think I might need a little bit more. 
Also, I'm thinking we might just have to mine out the Abyssalite right there. Go from 218. That's about like, what, 90 something rads? Wait, how'd you. Oh my god. How did you do that to yourself? Oh, there's two of you there. Oh my god. What a grand travesty. Dude, the dupes, I don't know how they were that good, dude. They got themselves stuck. That was rather impressive. These dupes are, are really good. Esme, why are you just idling there? Get out. Ah, there we go. Man, they went down here to pick up the Igneous, didn't they? These guys. Me and Hatter Mander are just happy it wasn't him. <laughs> Ranches could probably be controlled if you're using automated incubator plus critter sensor. Farm semantically cutting off like resources access sometimes. It would probably be a pain though. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. It's one of those things like while you could probably do something to make it a little bit, you know, not as wasteful. I don't think it's worth the, uh, the effort and whatnot, to be honest. Alright, we got the we got the lock here. We got that. We got to seal this. Okay, so then now we're going to want to build the steam turbines. I'll make it out of lead. It shouldn't be a big deal. Oh, wait. I think I wanted to do... I did. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. This is supposed to be a submerged setup. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that's supposed to be a submerged setup. Uh, I don't know how I, I need to do this then. So what's the next step? I think I do the submerge next. The problem with that is that I would need to do temperature plates. Um, and I want to also do bottle emptors from the top. Damn, this is a nightmare. Because I need to seal the rooms. I guess it's fine if I just do this. That does work, and then I would have to ladder in here. And then I would have to close this off. And then I would need to go to this side, which means I do want to ladder up here. What liquid would you use? Um, we're going to do a stacked liquid submerged turbine setup. That sounds convoluted. It's pretty simple. <laughs> sounds bad. Trust me, man. It's not that bad. I might not actually want this there. I just realized that. Yeah, that's a full submerge. It's going to be a full submerge. We got, we got to seal it, though. Otherwise, it's like kind of pointless. Oh, this is not needed. And then I need to do this design. And then once I get to... Oh, I can't get to here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's Aresia. What's going on, Aresia? I see you over there. Welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, How do I get to this side? I think I just have to go through here. All right, so that means we're just going to have an opening here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, Aresia, coming in with the raid. Thank you so much for the raid, Aresia. I see you over there. How are you? Welcome in, welcome in. Hello, hello. How you doing today, Aresia? How is the days? How is the Tuesdays, my dude? Welcome in, welcome in. Let's give you a shout out. How was... I think I saw you playing Oni today. How was the streams? Playing some Onis. Talk to us about the streams today. What you guys getting done? 
And if you guys don't know, Aresia does a lot of owning. Check the man out. Does a lot of Mega Aquarium as well, recently. I see you over there. But yeah, man. Aresia, chill times. Not bad. We're doing uh, Sweetos Grub Grubs today. Hey, nice. I also made a big ethanol explosion somehow in my steam turbine area. Aw, snap. Ethanol, scary, man. Well, I mean, not gonna lie. Usually, if you're doing ethanol, that usually means you you have one of those big CO two generation systems with the distillers everywhere in the petroleum gents. <laughs> but yo, man, ethanol explosion. Do you have a ethanol uh, aqua tuner design? You know what I'm talking about with the uh, the heat loss mechanic. The self-cooling ethanol cooler. If you have one of those, I could see that happening. That's always potentially scary times. Dude, this never actually gets me to a nice temperature. Dude, do we have that much mass here that we can't cool anything down? That's actually kind of wild. Mop it up and we'll move some more ice. But yo, man. Ethanol scary. We have an ethanol heat deleter freezer. But I think, to be honest, I just deconstructed an old ethanol pipe in the steam turbine area and forgot to move the, the bottles. <laughs> no, that happens. That can happen. That can happen. Yeah, man. When you're deconstructing pipes, man, I always wish those came out as bottles. But then it also, that would circumvent the, the plumbing mechanic. One of those things. Two tons of ethanol gas. Oof. Yeah, man. At least you don't have to worry about getting drunk. I guess. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, technically. Well, you of course, welcome in those of you guys coming in with the Aresia Ray. My name is Too Legit. And we're doing a playthrough where we're not allowed to use any of the starter geysers on the first planet that we start with, but we have to stay here. And our goal is to be automating the other planets' geysers so that we could send back the resources automatically. It could be something as simple as the teleporter planet, right? We have a polluted water geyser that sends back via teleporter. We just set up a cold gen with a transformer sweeper set up on a smart battery so that it's self-powering. And since it's next to the supply and teleporter, anytime we need power, we just send coal over and we're good, right? That's going to solve everything, most likely. Second thing we have is the sulfur geyser. Charge it up, interplanetary launcher. We have our tamer set up off of solar panels. It's going pretty good. Of course, this is the magma planet, right? This was fun. Having to tame everything on here. And right now, we shoot the shots, send the stuff home, and we get the uh, grub grubs and grub fruit. Now, of course, you know, I might be pushing this a little bit too much. We're burning through the sulfurs. So I'm thinking about uh, cutting back on this. But at the same time, I think we might want to do some maintenance on this planet. That's what I'm thinking. All right, how are we over here? Right now, we're trying to do a triple metal volcano tamer. And then we're going to send that back home as well. We dug a shaft out to put the rocket launch pad so that we could be next to the geysers a little bit deeper into the planet and not worry about the heat. And of course, that's because there's meteors on this planet. Kind of sucks, right? So we got to protect ourselves. But yeah, this is our playthrough so far. Trying to make sure we could handle our business. Oh, yeah, I have to seal this. Oh, I don't seal that. I seal this side. Yeah, I have to seal that side. And then that means this tile we have to remove. Rocket battery levels are critical. Rocket battery levels are critical. Oh, ha. Oh, all the food rotted. No. Not like this. We're leaving, boys. <laughs> Not like this. Guys, we gotta go, man. All the food got rotted. This is four tiles. We gotta open the door, too. Wait. Oh, no. We don't have power. Oh, this is gonna hit us. Oh, no. Uh... All right, never mind. 
we gotta have someone run the wheel real fast. They're gonna have to live off the swap chart. Dude, the meal lice rotted. I can't believe it. All of the freaking barbecue. Just because I forgot about the power. Oh man. Alright, so we gotta do this. Uh, we also don't need to power ourselves. So we're just gonna power the batteries. Alright, and the reasoning for that is because, well, we're gonna charge just by uh, driving home. Man, that sucks. That actually kind of sucks. Feels bad, feels bad. Alright, we'll do this setup first. So we're going to do the ends right here, open. Because that's how gas likes to move. It just gets pushed across the ceiling. So anytime you get too much water, right? That's just going to be how that works. We're going to walk through from this side. So we could still build the steam turbines from the middle. And then we'll walk through here to add the liquids. Once we get the liquids in, that's going to be a lot easier for us. We'll use pea water, I think, for a partial of it. And I think it will work out. We will need oil and water, though, for that to be uh, a little bit better. So that's probably... Yeah, we'll probably bring water. The oil shouldn't be a problem. We should have enough here. Yeah, 2,000 kilograms. That's more than enough. We're going to put a liquid res here right now while we're waiting. And then once we have enough power, we're going to leave. And then we'll come back. Don't use steel for that, man. Don't waste the steel. Oops. Come on, guys. You guys got this. Nice. Sleeping. Battery needs more power than that. Because we're going to have to close and open the door. We could try to hope that the plug slug just gets onto the power line. I don't think that's going to happen, though. That'd be nice, though. We just put the plug slug in here. He's just chilling, charging the battery all day. How long is this going to take? Oh, it's going to be there pretty fast. Uh... Okay, I have an idea. We're going back home. And we're going to speed this up, right? All right, let's just crew and leave. And then we're going to close the doors almost ASAP. We gotta leave first, right? There we go, there we go. Alright, we're gonna use the power for that. That way, this doesn't get messed up. And then we will pre-open it before we even get there, if we run out of power. So we're just gonna have to wait for this to hit us, and then hopefully we'll catch that on time. And it shouldn't be a problem shouldn't be a problem all right another thing is is that i might just have too much grub fruit i might want to bob a little bit of this because right now the sulfur keeps going down hmm all right let's get a new rocket up i think it's time for a new steam engine we will use the copper and then we'll make a new steam engine setup so let's get the pipelines out. We know we need that. We know we need that. We know that we're going to need the ladder set up like this. It's going to be identical most of the time. And then... How come we're missing suits here? No one's outside. Wait, what the heck? No one's outside. Where did all the suits go? Wait, oh, they're coming back. Wait, wait, wait. No, cancel, cancel. So we have two people outside. We have two people on the space mission. And then we have another three people. That's seven people. That's seven suits. Oh, that's perfect then. We're missing one. Oh, wow. Everyone's on the space mission. I didn't think I would need that many suits. I think I do now. We might want to adjust that. Ah, uh, snap. Alright, we will, I guess. Let's get two more... Ooh, not iron. A 
then we go like that. Should be okay. Oh, this was, uh... <laughs> that's regular pipeline. That was a temporary line, that's why. I guess we didn't really actually need this anymore. Well, no, we might need it. Because we're going to add a hydrogen gen to that later, I think. Estimate's out of food. Aw, snap. 2.6. How much calories do we have? 2.7. <laughs> we're barely going to make it. We're, we're literally barely going to make it. Oh, dude. Oh, someone peed their pants and I never... S oh, no, dude. Soiled suit. I never swapped out her suit. Aw, snap. This is going to be a fun time. At most, at a thousand. All right, we're gonna leave them alone. We're gonna start making the rooms a little bit better back here. Uh, I probably want to relocate where my suit forge needs to be. Like putting it over here makes a lot of sense. I don't know if I'll do that though, because I'm thinking about making this to another bedroom. Ooh, the double suit soil. Be like that sometimes these guys out here. Oh, he's yodeling in space. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. We're just gonna let him scan. Let him do the thing. We actually can't land on the flipped planet because we don't have enough steam to get back home, sadly. So that's one thing we can't realistically do. It's okay, though. Alright, so they actually trimmed this. The energy is leaking out we could take our time with that. Made him at non-stop naps. Yep, that happens. Dude, man, they are struggling to cool anything down here. We put a lot of ice into this. That makes me want to loop this. It really does. Will the dupe starve? No, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright, let's dump the water. We're going to chill the water again. That's going to come back colder, technically. Another mess. Hate to see it. I guess we could loop this a little bit more. Try to loop it down to here. Big meme strap. That works. That's actually really funny how that works. All right, we're gonna do that. It's kind of kind of weird. How much time will they have on the planet to derp around before eating? As long as they land, they have infinite time. As long as their next action is to eat, it's kind of weird. I've had dupes hit zero calories, but because their current action was to grab something to eat, they were fine. I thought I, I was going to have dead dupes. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's changed. Hopefully it hasn't. But I have had that done to me before. Alright, so you guys... 1.2, 1.8, 1 1.9. Oh, Ravko's going to have a bad time. They are going to get back in 0. 0.6 cycles, though. So we're actually fine. We'll get back in time. <laughs> Massive coolant loops for the base are my first tank, our first task once I have the Aqua Tuner Steam Turbine. You could do that. Active cooling is very popular. Alright, we're gonna hit him with the design. Nope, 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 nope. Back down, back down. There we go. Hit the plus sign. Hit the battery. Hit the gas cargo. All right, we're good. There we go. And then we're gonna need a insulated pipeline as well. And all should be good. Oh, this pipeline is done? Oh, that's fast. So then now I have this. This should not flow backwards, though. Oh, it's because this doesn't actually have connection. 
Now it flows the right way. All right, so that's going to be a coolant line. It's going to be mad jank. All right, that should be pretty good. I do also want to get a spot to remove all the oils. That's something else I want to do as well. Uh, we could trim that. And then we could trim this. We gotta cut as much of this in half as we can. If the game does a autosave recheck, the status of the dupes with zero calorie dies instantly. Not that I have had that happen or anything. <laughs> I am Killer Dove. I would believe that. I would believe that. They do do a daily check like that. I think also if the task gets interrupted, he dies. I believe that happens as well. So if he's like, oh no, I, I have to catch my breath. He's going to fall straight down to the ground. <laughs> And it's gonna be a bad time. Oh no! Oh no! They're PvPing inside the rocket ship. Oh, that might be bad. Oh no, we're fine. Yo, the fear bombs. Good thing you're wearing a suit. You can't you can't inhale any oxygen when you're wearing a suit. Got him, boys. Ravco, you're starving, but we need you to drive, buddy. He's like, yeah, man, I gotta eat. I'm not scared of no fear bombs. Esme's mad, though. Be like that sometimes. Come on, guys. 50 seconds. 600 calories. He's fine. He's, he's gonna last 300 seconds. I'm starting with Radbolt for research. No Wii Sports first three worlds. I have no uh, some uranium ore, but not enough. I have set up research next to Crash Satellite. Crash Satellite's really strong. If you have... Dude, it feels bad, Zandroff. Feels bad. Dude, Zandroff, you know this was someone in chat's girlfriend, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Someone in chat bought a dupe and named it after their girlfriend. And that's Esme. <laughs> Zandroff's like, yo, that sounds like my ex. Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> yo, man, I see both of the Zandroff. You probably didn't know. It was all good. <laughs> uh, D Mayor, the crash satellite is probably, dude, it's really good. It's really good. Open to legit stream, stress reaction, starvation. Yo, man, my food rot, man. You don't even know what happened, dude. I was on this planet and all my barbecue rotted because I forgot to plug in the fridge. I mean, that's still my fault, you know? But hey, man, it gave me a little bit of benefit of that. Crash Satellites is my preferred way. Crash Satellites is really good, man. Crash Satellites is really good. I'm a fan of it. Oh, this got built immediately. That's fast. Oh, everyone's peeing. Everyone's peeing. Mop it up, boys. We need this. Wait, aren't you hungry? Oh, you ate. Oh, you guys are eating food from the middle. Wait, there's no food here, though. Uh, no barbecue yet. We gotta ground this. What are you guys doing? Oh, they're filling up the... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and I need to fill up the water here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we gotta do this. This water is at 22 degrees. That's fine. Uh... Meme strat? We're just gonna pipe that in inside to the rocket. Crash satellites are really strong, though. Uh, D Mayor, they give you so much more radiation. It's worth it. I think it's really worth it if you get crash satellites. It's a lot better. Crash satellites is effectively five Wii Sports combined into one. It's really good. I'm gonna be real. I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. I used it to open the tear last playthrough, it's strong, but there was some vomiting involved. Oh yeah, yeah, that happens, that happens. You gotta watch out for that, man. Alright, we gotta refill the rocket fuel. That's not connected. They're not coming back yet. Oh! Oh no, we're out of power! Oh, my food's gonna start rotting. Oh snap, we gotta fly back. <laughs> 
So when we fly back, we generate power so the fridge could keep running. Ooh, we almost lost food. We almost lost food, y'all. We're good now, though. All right, so back here, we need to do this. We need to refuel the steam engine. Gotta get water inside. Yeah, the cool pipes. Not really doing too much. Cooling down a little bit, it's better than nothing, though. Alright, let's go. The 3x3 satellite is the best. 4x4 is harder to handle, and the 5x4 is really hard. I, I think that just requires you to get a lead suit. <laughs> Why are you hungry? Didn't you just have 3,000 kcals? I mean, eating the growth preserve is cool, though. Eat as much as you need to. We're not mad. Alright, so we have this here. We're getting steam. Nice. Uh, on top of this, we're just going to put a basic nose cone. We could always add on top of this. On top of the steam engine, so it's not that big of a deal. Inside, we got to change how this works. We're going to put in some wall toilets. Do the basic setup. So we do want the door here. We're going to want plastic tiles up top. Cancel that. Then we're going to do ladder, ladder. Now we're going to need the igneous pipeline. It's going to be the basic setup. Let's beat this up. Okay. Looking good so far. I need to get more rooms. All right, so this is going to be one of them. Okay, we'll be able to just do that. Let's also try to decorate this right now. Let's make this plastic beds this is generic generic room uh let's see i guess we could also finish this room let's get the ceiling trim not bad so we have this here we're gonna do some drywalling all right we do have green we are gonna do a similar pattern to the other pattern we had but i'm gonna reverse the pattern so I want this pattern. Now, how can we make that look nice? Oh. Oh, that's that's baller, dude. That's mad baller. I like this design. And then to top it off, we should probably put a line. There we go. Nice. Are you going to have a research shuttle? I have one already. Uh, that's this one on the way back. We have data banks and telescopes. Alright, so we're going to have a generic green room here. We're going to need to get some uh, portraits on this. Alright, that's going to be a generic room. Good stuff. We're going to need to do some more designs though. I like that design though. I think it's kind of nice. So we have a red room that has the dot design with star in the middle. And then we run four stars, one star for each bed. We gotta do some more rooms soon though. I love the paintings. I just need to make sure the paintings are different. I don't have all the paintings though. I do have some variety, like this one and this one. It's not bad, these are default I believe. All right, now we just gotta move the oil. So, looks like we could do it here. Alright, if we could mine that, that'd be sweet. And it looks like we could do some trimming right now. Hopefully no one gets hurt. And then, Steam Rocket is ready. Yep, okay. So, that's gonna empty out here. That's just gonna dump out. Oh, I could just connect it to the other one, actually. Right, have that feed out to there. 
Okay. Oh, I need oxygen. I did not actually plug that in. Oh, it is plugged in. I just didn't have it on this side. And then we gotta do that. Alright, so the water's inside. Let's also do it this way, so it splits the water intake. I wanna get five tons. I, we're, we're probably, this is probably not even enough, to be honest. So we'll do that, because this is going to be a lot of water we're going to need. So the water, oxygen, good. Uh, fuel is fine. We have everything in here except for food. Oxygen's coming in, though. I don't know. One can design a room like that. What is this? Sims now? Hey, man. Hey. I was playing Sims last night, and I was inspired. Nothing wrong with a little bit of inspiration. Just saying, man. I think it's kind of neat. I think it's kind of cool. We gotta get the dupes some nice rooms, man. Imagine being from the future and having, like, medieval coziness. It's like, come on, man. We got the RGB lights. We can't be archaic, man, with the black and white. What's at the bottom right of the rocket? Uh, bottom of that rocket. This one? This building, the spacefarer module? Is this what you're talking about? Or was there something specific we were looking at inside? Oh, this one. Carbon skimmer. Uh, that's how I get rid of the CO2 inside of the rocket. So, there's two ways you could do this. There is the exploit. that we are not using at any one of our rockets. Okay, I guess that's fair. <laughs> There's an exploit you could do, or we could do it this way, and I'm choosing to do it this way. So the exploit you could do is make your oxygen gas vent on the bottom of the map. If you do that, and you have one bubble of CO2 just randomly floating around, it gets deleted if it floats over the vent. That only happens if the vent is on the ground and that's because co2 is the heaviest gas you can't move it up like that so if you actually spawn oxygen on top of co2 on the floor and it can't move down it gets deleted so that's actually what people do actually want to do they put a vent down here and then have the oxygen feed into that so when they refill the rocket they delete co2 but that's actually how you get high gas pressure like this <laughs> Because cause the CO2 keeps moving around, it circumvents, uh, what's that called? Max gas pressure. So you, you keep leaking out oxygen. <laughs> so you, you might run into some problems like that. But yeah, I opted to do a carbon skimmer instead. Because we didn't use anything for the dump. So I just connected a, uh, a vent right there with the outport of the spacefarer. And then, bam, we just hold the polluted water in here and we just keep it clean. All right, we're almost done. Got to charge up this suit talk, and then we need to charge up the rocket itself. Um, that's not too bad. Oh, I need a diamond, right? All right, let's get rid of this. Let's put a bin right there. We're not going to need tables. It should be fine. Yeah, and this is connected. No, it's full. Now it's, this is all going into storage. Nice. I never looked at carbon skimmers close up. You gotta watch out for this, though. These guys are really weird. Oh, we're gonna need diamonds. Uh, 1,000. We don't need a lot. And then... Oh, I need refined metals. That's right. Uh, I'm gonna drop the plastic. Uh, metal. Oh, I can't see how much I have that one. Ooh, a smooth hatch egg. Oh, I'm in here. I don't have any. 114 tons of lead. I can't trust that. It's got to be... Man, I don't trust any of this. I might choose diamond. Damn. No, I don't need glass. If I have diamond, I don't need glass. What's going on, sketchy player? Welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Uglar Visk. I see you over there as well, man. How are you? Oh, man. I think we do go with diamonds. Because I have a lot of diamonds. It 
16 tons. Um, it's only 5 tons, right? 1, 2, 3, so... 3, 5, 10, 13? And there's no more diamond tiles on here. I'm trying to think how much I need to bring with me. So this is 650 each on average. It's actually more, so me rounding down is fine. 650, that's 325 by 13. So that's 325, 10. That's 3,750, or 250, plus 750, 4K. I would have about 4,000 kilograms here. Okay. So I could probably bring around 10,000 with me. Uh, we probably don't need to bring 10,000. Let's bring 5,000. It should be enough. Do you need the ancient... Do you have the ancient... I do. Um, I think it's on this planet. I'm avoiding this planet, the frozen forest. And that's because it gets oxalite meteors. And like all of these geysers here are on other geyser planets. So I haven't been on this planet. I'm thinking that's going to be where my ancient specimen is. I have the Somnium here. This planet has... The bees and the Saturn critter traps. And then this planet has nothing. Maybe there's something in the corner. Oh, I didn't go to the right side all the way. Yeah, but there's nothing here. This one, though, has critter flux on this side. So we don't have ancient specimen in sight yet. And we don't have... Oh, no, Biobots is here, too. Ancient specimen is missing, and I think that's it, right? Oh, the, the hermit. We haven't found the hermit yet. That's going to be one thing to find as well. All right, so how is this going? 240. All right. We have everything here. Suits. Oh, I never selected anything other than plastic, but that's okay. Filled up. Oh, we're out of water. Oh, no. We're out of water. All right, we're going to have to do new loop here then. All right, this is at 145, so this is okay. And then we need to effectively just chill out the water here. What's ancient specimen? Is that the dig site? Yes, that is the fossils, the uh, fossil fragments. You get like f three sites. And then they're like inside of the abyssal line and you have to dig them up. That's that's the uh, things that we're talking about. All right, getting some CO2. So we're going to start crushing again. This is still on. Oh, there's diamond here. Oh, sh <laughs> so we, we, we technically have all five tons of diamond just undug out. Okay. We could actually do the great monument then without a problem. Alright, have that in, and then I probably also want suits in here. Let's go. Oh, I could pump this. I forgot about that. Yeah, this is fine because I'm not pumping out the steam. And then the water just comes out. Oh, wait, it's not supposed to output. No. There we go. We're just going to pump this water out. So this water is coming out is effectively just trying to get aqua tunered. We're going to chill it back down. Get it to a nice low temp. Now, it's going to be really low, actually. It's just that... Uh... This water that I'm pumping out is... Uh... 30 degrees. <laughs> it's kind of warm. I mean, I think it's okay. Yeah, we'll do it like that. All right, 504. We're doing good. Let's get the food filled in. BBQ. And I think we're just going to head out. Yeah, it's not too bad. Looking good. 
Can we get some BBQ? Yeah, once we get that filled in, we'll go. This guy's coming back. 1.3. Yeah, it's all good. So yeah, my sulfur is running low. I might just not want to have all the plants growing yet. Alright, we're going to pop nine plants. That's 90 kilograms of sulfur, I think. Per cycle. So we won't burn as much. Hopefully as a uh, means to try to balance this out a little bit. We get at least one payload per cycle. But yeah, we also have enough food. We're not really worried about that. The hatches and all of this has been running pretty well. Haven't had any issues yet. This guy's stuck. Let's hop him out. Alright, looks like we haven't been having water issues for a while. This is climbing up 445, 321. That makes sense, though. We should be generating more oxygen. What's going on, LOG? Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today, man? How is the days? How is the Tuesdays, man? Hope you're doing well. And hope the week is going great. 24. Alright, so this needs a little bit of love. Hmm. I actually can't mop this up. That's kind of sad. Oh, that's two temp shift plates? Oh. That's why. Okay. Let me see if I could be slick. And I think we should be good here, right? Yeah, alright, let's go. Crew change, let's go back. And then we're here. We have a little bit of power remaining. We're going to preemptively open the door. The regolith falls down. We don't really care. Where's the regolith? Oh, free lime. Let's go. Oh, that's so much steel. Oh, we're going to heat this up again. It's going to be nice. Free lime. Or, yeah, all right. We're just going to let them run. Free power. Let's go. So far, so good. Uh, 37. Always getting warm. We're going to mop that up, put it to here. Two point something. Cold water, though. 11 degrees. This is great. All right, 1.7 cycles. That's not too bad. We're getting by. Everything's working pretty well. I guess the only thing we really want to do right now is make sure we take care of some of the business. Ah, they actually want me to keep this then, huh? All right, we can remove this for now, though. We will take care of that. Remove all this. We also understand we're going to want to mine all the sound. Uh, be able to travel. Yep. Uh, this is trimmable. We do these two. And then... Is this hot enough to hurt me? It is. Oh, I just... I think I need to just drip the oil. And we'll be fine. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't reach. Okay. That is going to be a slight problem then. Uh, it makes more sense to do it from under here. And just mine that out. So we get all the oil to just drain. Any uh, any plans for the diamond press? Not yet. Because in order for us to do the diamond press, I would probably want to do the reactor. Um, I would have enriched uranium though. Because our second planet was this planet. I would imagine we would have tons of uranium inside here. 3,000 kilograms. 3,000 kilograms. 3,000 kilograms. Oh, that's so much uranium, dude. Oh, my God. Dude, you would need 10 kilograms <laughs> to charge one Radbolt rocket. This is three tons. Jesus Christ. So you effectively use 0.3% of the uranium. No, no, no. You would effectively use 1% of your uranium. 3% of your uranium. 
No, no, it's 1% because we have three hives. Yeah. You would use 1% of your uranium to power a rabble rocket. And they're still harvesting. The fourth one has barely been harvesting, though. That's the problem. There's only 200 here. Oh, you guys can't see the values. There is only 200 kilograms in here. This one is 3,000. This one is 3,000. And this one is 3,000. So those three have 9,000 something, almost 10,000 uranium. It's so much. It's, it's actually insane. Maybe we should, because this is our second planet. So we could just bring everything back home. We could also just let them sit there and then they're going to die eventually because of temperature leak. I haven't been helping them at all. Hot water. <laughs> You know, we haven't been doing anything to really stop the heat. We're just letting it leak out. It should be fine, though. I don't think it's a big deal. Unless we lose... That would be one thing. If we lose the enriched uranium because the hive dies, that might be a problem. Alright, so I'm going to want to make sure we mine this time. There we go. And then we get the mop. There we go. Now we mop the whole thing. That's what I want to see. Now they'll be able to move the water to there. This might jam, so let's cut this. This is at... Yeah, we're not going to have uh, 100 bubbles here, I don't think. We do want to fill this up, though. Alright, so they're going to move that. Let's get a temp shift plate here. Since we're going to have to use the ice anyways. Is it because of the hot coal that that's the problem? That'd be interesting. Pick up the water, though. That way, the heat isn't there. Reed fiber is kind of warm. Oh, it's because it's coming from here, huh? That's true. Seventeen. All right, we gotta wait. All right, so this guy's back. We're gonna do some more scanning, of course. We're gonna want to ground the rockets. Plastic. This is igneous rock. All right. Let's get some water inside. Would that much you, a rad bolt drill, would be a breeze. Yeah, man. That's a lot of uranium, man. Getting a rad bolt diamond press off of that would be easy, 100%. We would just need power at that point, in which case the reactor should provide, just because you would have uh, a lot of steam generators to cool it down. So it should work out. Uh, I believe that's too much water, right? We gotta do this. And then I guess I wouldn't mind getting water here. Uh, and then this is good. So we could do this. There we go. So now we're looping water. Because the water is cold. Nice. This is going to help cool down slightly. I can't believe that one little update can change the same seed. Maybe I'm just being too nitpicky. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? That one update could change the same seed? Oh, what is this? That's actually illegal. That shouldn't have been possible right here. Uh, Let me do this. That was weird. That shouldn't have happened. Nice. So what should happen now is the oil should slip underneath. I'm talking about the hotfix. There was a hotfix. That was on two weeks ago.
I don't know what you're talking about, Sketch Gamer. <laughs> I'm not sure. I read the patch notes. That doesn't have to do anything with seeds. I'm not sure what specifically you're talking about. Alright, so this is ready. We have water. Alright, we gotta do another mission. I think the data banks are already taken out, right? This is grub fruit. Oh, sulfur and grub fruit. Oh, we don't need this here. What the heck? <laughs> I guess it's fine. And the grub are working. Where are my data banks going? I guess they do go here. There's probably enough already. And then we got the rad bolts. Yeah, that's doing well as well. No water, oof. So we can't make ice because of the lack of water. Uh, I could do this then. No, actually, no, they're gonna move the water back, so it's pointless. I guess if anything, it's uh, just mop this up and then they'll move it into here and here. I guess we don't need to pump the water anymore. And then we do have the sun. Keep that cold. And then we'll do another one here later. We're there, right? Oh, we're landing. Nice. Oh! They just landed. Okay, let's go. Uh, I don't know if we're going to have people coming in soon. No one got out, right? We're still inside. Yes. All right. So we're going to ground. Unground. Slop suits. Post trip. This is going to be Esme. Uh, this is going to be Ravco, and then non-stop now. Let's go. Alright, everyone gets a suit. We don't need that. Everything here should be good. Oh, there's barbecue on the ground. Oh, that's gross. And then we go up here. Having that run is fine. Let's turn this off. I do think we do this though. I entered the same seed of your no gather start and after the hotfix it's unrecognizable. That's not true. The maps and seeds have always had a variable in it, even if you start with the same seed. So that has, that's, that's probably one thing people don't know about. Uh, in this game, even if you start with the same seed, you doesn't actually guarantee that you have the same map. You have in the maps by itself, like a floating variable. So I've had maps where geyser locations didn't actually match, even though there were geysers there or sometimes not there. It seems like even though you could have the same seed, and just enter it in. It's not the exact same map. I don't know what actually modifies that. I just know that it changes. Ground barbecue. Yep. Philosopher, welcome in. I see you over there. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Thank you for tuning in. All right. So on this setup, we need to go inside. We need to bop this to get the water. This should be okay. The water will come out ungrounded ah so i need to do this so that we could charge the suits there we go regolith fell down so it's different for everyone it's slightly different slightly different it's not exactly the same so to give you an idea uh i had a playthrough where i couldn't find so in the base game, you're guaranteed a certain amount of geysers. That's just part of the game. And one of the things that I did was... What's this? Aw, oh, come on, man. Get out of here. Uh, one of the things I did was I went to, to look for all my geysers. This is back in the vanilla game. So you would have 12 geysers unless you had Geoactive or Geodormant. And as a result, typically you want to find all your geysers so you know what you have. And what I did was I went out looking for the geysers. Now, I couldn't find my last geyser, and I was mad. Uh, someone in my chat entered my seed, went into sandbox mode, and they said they found my geyser. They told me it was in the frozen core. 
and that it was a iron volcano. I went there, there was no geyser there. <laughs> and then we compared maps. And then we found out that while the map looks similar, it's not actually the same map. So they had an iron volcano here. I had my iron volcano somewhere else. And then uh, the locations of everything was slightly off. They'll say something like the tile generation is slightly different. Uh, even though it's like about the same, like some of the tiles are like swap positioning and it's not identical. And then there are some other things too, where it's like, oh, that was water instead of slime. So it's like some things change. I just don't know how that really gets, you know, calculated. But yeah, it's slightly different. I wouldn't say that it's completely different though. All right, hope that makes sense. Philosopher though, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. And then we got to do, well, we have water here still. We got to wait for that to get moved. Yeah, we're doing that. This is still looping. Can't be bad. Is that 18? And we'll just leave it like that. Yeah, so this is working. We could have these guys do that. And then the oil drain. That's a bunch of the heat. So I should be able to just trim this now, right? I want to say I could do all that. And then we'll have to trim the top from the top. Alright, cool. Back here. Let's set this up. We're going to do the liquid spill. So the first one's going to be crude oil. I probably might want to do something here too. That's a lot of oil we could use. So we're going to be doing our layers. That's going to be the first one. Hello? Do I understand correctly that you're trying to build three volcanoes into one build turbines? Yes! Fitz, that's exactly what we're trying. I haven't done this before, so I'm just hoping this works. <laughs> I'm just hoping it works. Feels bad, man. Are you stuck? No. But yeah, Blitz, let me know if you have any questions. They're playing Oni again, and I always hit a wall where I feel like I need to wall in my colony living area and make people use suits as a constant campaign about stress and all that. That's a playstyle thing. I used to strategically always do that. But that's going to be up to you. I'm really excited. I keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I'm hoping it works out. You guys, give me one second. I gotta be right back real fast.
guys we're back sorry about that sorry about that we back we back check it out for the night have a fun stream to legit chat thank you killer dove i hope you have a great night we'll see you next time man thank you for popping in how is key transfer happening in your system you'll see you'll see i don't know if this will work as intended that's the thing <laughs> I don't know if it will work as intended. Oh, hot regolith is here, so it's keeping the steam hot. That's funny. The steam's just gonna get dissipated, so it doesn't really matter. It's weird how this is 30 degrees, though. This is at 125. How do you get the metal out? We're gonna put an auto sweeper inside and do a setup for that. Right, technically we gotta do that. I guess if we're not doing anything, we could sweep. Memes and magic. So we're gonna put a steel aqua tuner, I mean steel setup inside. Uh, steel rail setup, and then we're gonna have an auto super sweep everything out. Don't worry, man. It's it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. Tight, tight, tight. Uh, 10, 10. That's correct, so I canceled that. So oil for the second one. Alright, we're gonna add as much as we can. We can't vacuum yet. It's kind of pointless. Oh no, we could vacuum this room. Nice. Uh, let's put the cobalt pump. Oh, it's one gas. This is actually kind of convenient. Okay, we could do this then. Uh, the only thing about this is we're going to need the plastic vent. Yo, get out, get out. It's too hot, it's too hot. People, get out of there. Okay, so why don't we have plastic? Wait, what happened to my plastic? Oh, I got robbed. Oh, no way. Somebody stole my plastic. Dude, what the heck is this? We had plastic right here. Man, I actually got robbed in broad daylight. Oh, okay. We got to we got to wait for that. Uh I guess the next best thing is the, uh... Hmm. I guess we could do it here. And then we're just gonna need power for this. Uh, I'll make someone else just run a wheel here. Alright, they could just do all the work. Liquid layer, 18. We need more on the side. This is already 10 bottles, 5 bottles, so this should be about ready. Alright. What do we got here? Take the little baby pip. Okay, so. Still. Oh, it's not high priority, that's why. We need a suit swap. This is probably going to be the easiest way to do it. All of them are inside. Okay, and then now they're free. Okay, they go in and out. Should be fine. Water, food, everything. Power. And it looks okay so far. Yeah, everything seems alright. Uh, let's not run the battery off of that anymore. Oh, I probably should. Oh, I see what I do. Let me finish charging this, and then we'll swap the line. And then this could just decay, and we'll recharge it before we leave.
Nice. So we do that, cut that, cancel. All right, and then we just keep this on, which means our fridge never dies. Timo, how? I don't know, man. I don't see it. I don't see it, but they see it, so we're just going to have to believe them. All right, let's cancel the sweeps. It's taking too long. We just got to build everything else out. Move the oil, build the stuff. This is probably enough, though, realistically. All right, let's get the second layer, then. Uh, that's technically here. So does that mean I do that? And then we just put a pitcher pump here? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, liquid layer. Do I need this? I do, I guess. Yeah. Once we seal this, though, we need to make sure that's closed off. I guess there's also other things we could do right now, too, like the Aqua Tuner. That's likely to be the design. Likely need to go through here. We're likely going to need to ladder through. Construction, this, that, that, that. We're going to want that if possible. Another bottle still we have. All right, now we can start setting up the pipeline here. So each aqua tuner is going to be cooling down each steam turbine room. And there's going to be a reasoning behind that. Uh, the thing we need to worry about the most is how we plan to do a lot of the setup. So I think this is most likely BAM, but then it goes out here. I don't know if that's wise. It might be better just go straight down. This one likely goes up, over, and down like that. But if I do that, we run into a problem with the Aqua Tuner. So... Oh, I can't build some as a placeholder. That means... Man, I wish I had Priority Zero mod. Feels bad. It's always Priority Zero. Alright, let's not have that one, just because I don't think it's needed. We're going to build the other stuff to build the insulated tiles below, and then we're going to get the uh, infinite pressure down here. Right? That's going to be why we need to do that. Alright, so... This comes straight down. We lose a little bit of cooling, but that's fine. I still need to do the temp shift plates inside. So, one, two, three, four. Oh. So it's one, two, one, two. Wait, isn't that actually like... 1632. Dude, that's most of my diamond. <sighs> oh, man. Uh, let's cancel that. I don't think that's actually wise. I think that's going to be aluminum. Because we have aluminum here, right? I'm pretty sure I have aluminum here. Did I see it here? Alright, we're just going to look. No, we don't. No. Okay. So what we have is cobalt then. How bad is this? It's four. Oh, this is garbage. There's nothing here that's going to be good. Gold amalgam is also garbage too, right? Two conductivity. Yeah, everything is in raw form. This is tough. This is tough, man. What can we use? Man, having the temp shift plate so much better. 
so we know that it's going to be radiant pipe set up. We're going to have to use one of these metals. And then we're going to run rail set up behind that. And then we're going to want temp shift plates. What's the ore under the pitcher pump? That's gold. Gold is two conductivity. It's not good. The reason why I wouldn't use gold is because it's the same stat as igneous. I'd rather just build a igneous temp shift plate because it's the same stats. <laughs> they don't think it be like it is, man, but it do. We really do be like that though sometimes. We just hate to see it. If I do oil here, yeah, we still have one more bottle. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, let's put a little bit of water. Hmm. There's no salt water here, right? Yeah, we'll have regular water, I think will be the play. Can diamond come from the printing pod? No. Is there any iron? Uh, there is, but we would have to cool it down. I don't have a way to cool it down yet. That's kind of the problem right now. No, I don't think diamond ever comes from the printing pod. I've never seen it. Hmm. So what are the viable materials that we have? If not diamond. Oh, lead. Oh, we have a lot of lead. Lead would be fine. Actually, that might be better. Dude, this is wild. Yeah, lead's actually optimal. Dude, that's that's actually insane. Yeah, we're going to have to fly home and come back. That's fine. We do temp shift plates later. That's not a big deal. We always have to come back in anyways. Uh, so let's try to lay out the aqua tuner. Oh, the radiant pipes too. It's this geyser. Oh, man. I think we're going to do a meme strat. Oh, God. I think we will do a really... Oh, too much water. My bad. I think we do a meme strat. This is the active one. Yeah, I think that makes the most sense. All right, let me release the gas. Oh, you bopped all of it? What was that? Can someone do this? I just want a drop of water. Small drop, small drop one time. All right. None of the water leaks. Two kilograms. That's already too much. And it's perfect. Oh, infinite pressure. Let's go. I had a question from watching the VODs earlier. Oh, man. If you remember, let me know. I got you. All right. That means this one. I wouldn't mind another delivery real fast, actually. Another oil delivery. Nice. 80 kilograms is good. And then there's no more after this. Okay, that's fine. All right, we're going to have to go straight home real fast. And then we would have to open the doors. Let's reconnect that so it's not a problem. Clear launch path. That's a nice volcano array. It is. We're going to do a weird build and triple stack it. So I need to preemptively let this erupt. That's basically what I'm realizing. I have to let this erupt. So that we can get the metal. <sighs> so the lead's going to be what we use here. But we're going to want this for the radiant pipe. Yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's go, let's go. We'll come back. Let's go, let's go. All right, so let's prepare for it. We need... What do we need? Uh, plastic. We needed... What do we need? So I needed plastic to do the turbines. I guess we needed to bring some metals to get everything started. I think I know what we need. Yeah, we should be fine. Plastic. I brought the diamond, but I don't think it's going to help. I think we end up using lead temp shift plates in here. Because this is going to be uh, cooler than 100 degrees every time. There's never going to be a reason that it would melt. And then the bottom room would probably have to be a metal of some sort. We could literally just keep this as a vacuum lock and seriously just consider going inside with the metal and building temp shift plates as we get the metal with whatever it is we get iron cobalt or copper and just do that at the bottom and then the temp shift plates would be the final thing then so we would just need the plastic for the turbines this is a cold room more or less I will submerge it still, and then we'll just have to cut the power. Oh, we don't have power. Oh, yeah, that's where the hydrogen comes in. All right, so we need lead, plastic, and then we have the ores here, right? Oh, you don't get a check because there's no dupes. Oh, come on. That's one thing I actually hate about this game. If you don't have any dupes on the planet, you can't do a task, and you can't actually see how many resources are there. That's actually really, uh, feels bad, man. I wish I could see that. It just zeroes out. It feels bad. We'll just have to come back. You mentioned the idea of creating a greenhouse within the ship modules. Have you experimented with that idea? I haven't. It, it wouldn't be a hard idea to do, though, if you really want to do something like that. Oh, there's a history for that? You're talking about these bars, right? They don't give me a value, though. That's the problem. Like, there's a graph, but I don't know how much that actually is. So, the... Uh, taking the space and melting the walls. That's typically what you would want to do. A lot of different ways to do it because this room is technically in a vacuum. All you got to do is melt steel, which is 2,400 degrees. At least it's something. Yeah. Wish it was useful, though. <laughs> Wish it was a little more useful. But yeah, all you would have to do is pipe it in and then just drop it inside. If it cools down, you just take it back out with the door. But if you want to do that, you probably don't want just this. You want the pipeline of the glass forge to feed into this. And then make steel using the molten glass so that you could hit like a 3000 degree temperature. Right? Molten glass. Oh, you don't hit it. Never mind. It's not actually enough. 2300 degrees. I guess you would have to melt steel. <laughs> that's such a meme. Ah, oh, that's such a meme. Technically, that would work. I guess that's why they don't want to give you power inside. No, that, that does work. Oh. Build a battery on top. And then build a rocket port fitting to the inside and then just run a steel lock between her inside until it breaks and melts itself. And then once the aqua tuner melts and you use steel for that, the walls are melted. That's actually not too difficult. Just thinking about that. It doesn't sound too bad. All right, so these guys never left. Uh, they are ready though. They can go at any time. 
fuel hasn't been fueled. 30 kgs. Okay, we'll do that right now. This is not going to be fed. We're just going to do the first one. All right. Speed this up. Hurry up, hurry up. I guess while we do this, we could decorate some more beds. Make it so that the dupes have a uh, nice area. So we have that set up. This isn't too bad. We're using that as kind of like a heat sink setup. Uh, we'll do these two. We won't do the right side because that is getting a little hot. Oh, the bad gases. We could probably open this up. Two from that, two from that. That's actually okay. Trim all that. New printables. Ooh, Mellow Mala. And these are alright. We're gonna just reject everything. Alright, this guy's gonna do some more research. The amount of steam is actually really good, so we're fine. Temperature of the water is getting warm. Uh, let's do this. And dump all the water this way. They're both just gonna go into the same location without adding in any new water. And we're just gonna be aqua tuning it. Chill it back down. Just trying to, you know, control temperature over here. Mellow Malo is decoration, yes. I just, you know, everything is, is not good compared to a uh, Joya seed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Joys are just so good, man. I can't be mad about that. It's a Joya seed, man. Joya seeds are nice. All right. So far, so good. Uh, let's cut this. There we go. We're just going to loop it again, just to keep everything cool. So far has gone down to 2.2. That is not good. So we're not getting enough sulfur from the planet launch. All right, we need to stop by here once we have a chance. We got to make some improvements here. Ah, uh, get the third Weezwort and plant the third seed. We need to basically increase this value. We could mine this tile, that could help out. Getting a second Rad Bolt is also possible. There's no loss here. Dude, that's so much more radiation, though. Ah, uh, damn. I guess I could try to see if that's a strat, but we're gonna have to go back, right? All right, so that's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna have this set up. We're gonna have that. So let's get the rocket ports in here so that we could actually stop by. So we're gonna need power, uh, gas intake, gas output. And then we're going to need gas to vent. Oh, all my builds always look the same. So here, 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 here. Power is just going to go like that. We're going to cut the power off of this. We're going to need a little bit of water here. And then we're going to need to get suits. All right. I do want this plugged in once it's ready. And then the water line should be in, so I should be allowed to just do this. Go directly into there. And then, yeah, we need to add steam into that as well. All right, so this needs to connect. And we're just gonna launch this one. This is ready. Water is fine. We're gonna send two people on that so that we get the great monument. Crew change. We will go south side.
Everything here should be good. It's a little warm. We have the plastic and food though, so it's fine. All right, they're gonna do that. These guys, almost done. The water's in. Once the pipeline's in, it gets oxygen and we'll be in a great situation. Sulfur though, mm -mm, not looking good. Oh, they rubbed all the plants. Everything got rubbed, aw, snap. So it looks like we're just overall negative. I think that means we gotta bring a pip in here. We need this built, that's done. Let's remove that. Put tiles here. Uh, we're gonna need a fridge. We're gonna need a bin. And then, I don't think we're gonna need anything else. We wanna build all this though. How long is this? Nice, so here's home. He is home. Oh, this is about done. Let's cut that line. Go back into here, we gotta refill this anyways. All right, so back to here. We're gonna need lead up to 10,000. 10 tons, we have 100 tons at home. Then this is steel, that's stocked. This is diamond. I don't think we need that anymore. We keep it there. This was suits. All right, so what do we need? Lead, plastic. And then let's go up to 2K, just cause. Uh, water, we can get some more. I don't think we actually need that. Oh, actually. Hmm. Lead, plastic. We want to try to use this for the metal, but we might need some other metal. So back at home, what's the metal of choice? I guess it's copper. All right, that's gonna be suits. We're gonna put copper here. Let's bring 2,500. I don't think we're gonna need a lot. So we just need to get some, some more. All right, so we let them do this. This is grounded. And we're gonna need a little bit more water for that. So that's gonna be here. All right, we do the swap here. That, that. That's gonna chill the water again. This guy is out. We need to fill the stuff. This is kind of ready. Oh, there's no power. Oh, that's, that's mean. Uh, we're gonna do a false launch. Uh, oh, we're out of pilots. No way. Oh, we're out of pilots. Uh, all right, we're getting some new pilots. Susumu, D. Mayor, Timo, Rav, called Jewel. Julie's a pilot. Oh, snap. Julie could go. Nice. All right, Julie. We're going to do a quick mission. We have uh, oxygen here is all that matters. So Julie's gonna launch the rocket so that we could charge the battery. The steam engine generates 600 watts per second. So we're just gonna use that to get some power. That way we could start charging the suits without adding like a power line here. I would waste the steam. Yeah, we have a lot of steam, so it's fine. All right, that looped back. I'm happy with that. Let's bop this. Uh, I want to connect that, connect this. We're not looping the water, we're adding bathroom water actually right now. It's going to be kind of weird, but I think it's okay. Dude, this is single digits. That's cold, man. <laughs> That's cold, not even mad about that. Alright, let's get some more ice on the ground. 
that platform never wants a goal. Like, chill, dude. And we should be good. Plastic's almost there. Are we out of suits? Oh, they're just not high priority. There we are. Yep, sulfur is running low. This is not going to be good for the uh, grub fruits. We have calories. It's not a big deal. But man, we are not keeping up with that. That I think we could do something though. Are you not allowed to drive? Oh, you're not allowed to drive. There we go. Come on, Julie, move out. We're going to go here, and this charges the battery. Right? So they're getting power. All right, so the steam is good. We need to cut this. Let's do that. Should be good. How come we're not adding any more oxygen? Oh, this was never on. Oh, that's my bad. I need to charge my suit dogs. Oh, it's charged. Oh, it's actually okay. Oh, I'm not even mad then. Uh, We are... We are good. We could go. Yeah, let's head over. Alright, we're heading back. This guy could land. Gonna get some sulfur right now. Okay, now we want to cut this. Where is this going? Oh, it goes to there. One fourteen. Okay. This is one point eight. Sputnik, how was this? They chillin', not grounded. This one just gone, not grounded as well. This guy's cheesing. It's not bad. All right, back at home. This guy's gonna be. Julie's a rancher, right? Julie might be all we need to send. Actually, wow, yeah. That might be the plan. We just need to send Julie. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that. Uh, let's get the tiles here. Let's make sure to bring 2,000 Ignis. And then we'll do 10 kilograms of food. We'll do that later. We'll likely want to power this. Just in case. All right, let's speed this up. 1.7. All right, should be not too bad. 14.10. Yeah, dude, this is just hot always. All my items here. It doesn't feel like we could actually ever cool that down. Perpetual 39 degrees. Always impressed how that works. Wait, how come this... Oh, it doesn't loop on this side. There we go. I was like, why is that not moving? The water spilled. It oh, my ice melted. Oh, my bad. That's my bad. Let's mop that up. Yeah, it should be okay now. Okay, got the trims. This is no problem. We want to go in between. Yeah, looks pretty good. Whoa, he's inside? Wait, what? Hold up. Ow! Wait, how long have you been in there? You were just born inside? 
This is a this is a fossil tile. You can't make this. He's been in here for 400 cycles. But he only just ha dude, what happened? How does that even happen? Slixers are always one tile creatures, right? Even if they go from baby to adult, they don't actually grow in size. Hey, what the heck is this? Y'all see that? He's inside the tile. And there's no sign of him. Dude, this is insane. That's what I'm saying. Like, how is he doing that? How is he only nine years old? What the heck is this? Dude, I'm so confused. I'm so confused, <clears throat> man. What is this Slickster doing? Alright, man, we'll leave him alone. Are we at the other planets yet? 1.2? Someone's getting heat stroke? He'll be fine. Alright, we'll trim that just so that we can start uh, getting rid of the guy from the heat stroke. And new printables. Take the dirt. Okay. So we know that we want the other dupes to get there. 4, 8, plus 16, that's 24. I'm missing 5 beds. Oh, I don't have enough beds here. But we have 5 dupes on space missions. So there's actually no problem. Oh, you can't even see the star design. I'm gonna do the same design, but I'm gonna offset it. That way we could actually like see everything. <laughs> I think that's gonna be smart. So we have a lot of water. I like having it though. Hmm. I guess we could just do a drywall, but we don't have enough room for beds. I guess it has to be here. All right, we'll get rid of everything here then. So we'll go across this way to bop this right. So we could do these two, that one. If we can, try to mine this out. Oh, we need that. Alright, so what's this? Bleach stone, pea dirt. Oh, pea dirt. Oh my god, I haven't done anything with that. <laughs> What should I do with that? I actually don't have anything I could do with that. Uh, we could just move the pea dirt outside. Does that become anything? When you cook it? Pea dirt becomes molten glass? Wait, hold up. How? What? Wait, what? It becomes glass and not sand. It skips the sand. Okay. That's legit, man. That's legit. I'm not even going to question it. Alright, so this is technically ready. Yeah, okay. So we'll just do this. Let's take the power. Cut this. And then crew change. We're going here. Wait. Uh, we need to move a pip inside. That's actually what we need. We're going to send 66. 66. Rango move. This is the... The beauty. Alright. Alright. Back to the metal volcanoes. We're back. We're back. Doors are not open. Gotta open the doors. Please be enough power. Please be enough power. I don't want to wait, man. So once we go back, what we're going to want to do is we're likely going to want to seal this off so we don't use both steam turbines. Well, first we're going to pump out all the gas. And then I'll likely want to seal this up. And I'll probably have to seal... No, I'll probably want to seal it here. Actually, it would be here. This would be the proper spot. Oh, the heat still leaks out. Man, everything's still a problem. I want to use the metal from that. I think we end up using the metal from here. 
it's open. Nice, nice. 0.5. Ah, uh, scanning. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, yeah, we're going there. So we got to get the liquid layers in. We don't need to do the temp shift plates now. We can always do that later. And then the only room we need to vacuum is at the bottom. We could technically seal this up and then not worry about this because this can't leak out heat. But this does. And I guess what we would have to do is replace this with insulated tiles for the time being. So that the heat doesn't leak out and then we'd be able to condense the cobalt. That would work. And that could be a temporary start. We will do that after this is a vacuum, I think. Just because I, I need this to be a vacuum for the steam turbine to even start rolling. We'll have the plastic, we'll build these out. I'm gonna go inside and build, inside and build. And then we'll have to use a liquid layer of polluted water and a liquid layer of regular water. That's gonna be fun. Food has decay. Roasted grub nut, that's fine. Oh, we got the Great Monument done. Nice. That's cool. Uh, next thing we will grab then is the research reactor. Are we here yet? What my dupes at, man? 70 seconds. Okay. All right, all right. People of chat, man. Thank you guys for watching today. Tune it in. Shout out to y'all, man for uh, just being here, man. Whatever it is you might be doing. I'm gonna uh, refill some coffee real fast. Y'all know what it is. Sometimes you want to boost. And uh, of course, coffee pour ASMR. It's warm, by the way, feels bad. Thank you for streaming. Hey man, shout out to you, man. It feels weird, but I kind of like that feeling, man. A lot of times, I will randomly say thank you to the people watching, just because a lot of times, not uh, not everyone makes it to the end of stream. People will fall asleep, you know, things. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't launch. I'm so happy I didn't launch. Because I didn't have food. Oh my god. I'm so happy I have Oh, and this is on. Oh, and I never did the thing. Oh, we got to do this. Oh, oh we go, we go. Hey, man, you got to do what you got to do, someone. Got to do what you got to do sometimes. All right, we will want to connect this. That happens every time. All right, so we got to wait for the food. Oh, this is not high priority, right? Yep, that's why. There we go. Yeah, sometimes not a, not a lot of people make it to the end of the stream. So I like to thank people during the stream. And I'm not going to lie, man. It hasn't really been until, until like recently. I've started seeing people say, hey, man, thank you for streaming. <laughs> and it's like, yo, man, that's, you know what? It feels kind of great that people respond. Because <laughs> I would normally just drop it when it's like, you know, randomly, hour in, couple hours in. Maybe there's like a low period. How is this happening? The critters are just phasing through like they're Nightcrawler. Dude, that's illegal. Can we do this one more time? What is this? How did he get into time? Dude, something weird's happening. Come on, man. Someone get this guy. He's acting a fool inside the tile. Get him, boys. And he pops up. Let's go. All right, we're here. All right, crew inside. We got to do some things. Stop that. Esme, that's your suit. Uh, Ravko? That's yours. And then non-stop naps. Non-stop nap needs to change. And then we're gonna go all. 
He gets a new suit. Alright, so now we're here. Uh, we're gonna need someone to run the wheel 100% of the time. There's so much gas in here. It's gonna take us a while to actually fix this. Uh, we do want to build the turbines. Like, realistically, we need that. Moving out the gas is really important. There's no way for gas to leak in. Oh, are we running this wheel? Uh, it's probably fine if they do. Let's not let them attach the battery yet, though. Broken. Oh, I never, I never got rid of these ladders. Uh, we can. <laughs> Just so that we don't want to have this always there. Okay. I guess we could submerge this first. We would want pee water from the bottom before we add in the regular water. How are you drinking coffee at 1700? Dude, dude, it's 5 p.m. I know. Nothing wrong with some coffee, though. I don't know, man. I used to have a boss that would drink coffee at 7 p.m. And I asked him, how do you sleep? He's like, at some point, you just get used to it. <laughs> I hate to say that, man. But yo, man, those, that's, that's what he said. At some point, you just get used to it, man. All right, so this is our liquid layer setup, if you guys are wondering. So we're going to be stacking three layers. These three layers are effectively going to separate themselves into layers based off of the liquid density, and that's going to be reliant on how you do it. If you did it the way I did, one layer at a time, it should work out like this. Now, for the most part, you have uh, crude oil. You don't want that much of this uh, per tile, not total. This is per tile. Now, ideally, crude oil, you just want a very little bit. I have about, you know, 100 kilograms per tile. What you're more worried about is the second two layers. This is going to be where the majority of the cold heat sink. I call it a cold heat sink because it's going to stay cold regardless of what you put on it due to the amount of mass you have. You're going to want both of these layers to be 200 kilograms of liquid per tile. So this is about 30 kilograms, 40 kilograms per tile. We're going to have to add that, and then we do the same thing for the water. Once you do that, you're going to have so much water in here that when you run the radiant piping with the aqua tuner, it makes it so that you have so much cold energy that you keep the turbine cold, right? Because this is going to generate heat, and you're going to be able to run the rail on top, conveyor rails. So that's going to be the reasoning why we are going to want this. Some uh, Asian countries drink coffee in the evening. Oh, I know there are some... I don't know what part of the world that's called. There's some European uh, countries that they will have a cup of espresso in the evening after dinner. And this would be like, you know, 9 p.m., 10 p.m. A lot of those times, though, those people, you know, enjoy nightlife. So they, they stay up for a couple more hours, maybe go to the club, do something exhausting. At the same time, um, it's really good for digestive tract, too. I used to do that. Have a cup of espresso post-dinner. And yes, you cannot sleep. <laughs> you can't just do that and sleep, man. You gotta, like, do something to spend the energy. I think you only brought copper and not lead. Those generators would never be built. These are made out of lead. Oh, you needed mech. You needed electrical engineer. Oh, none of my none of my dupes went to school. No, they none of them went to school. That's why. Oh my god. None of them have electrical engineering skill to actually build the turbines. Uh, yeah, we have no mechatronics guys here. Ah, we don't have mechatronics. Looks like that's gonna be Ravco. I'll do it too. 
I actually have the lead. Right here, 10,000. <laughs> I have the lead. I, I know I do. But yeah, I, I forgot about the skill. Now they're bringing in the plastic. Let's go. All right, now we're still adding that in. Still trying to get the vacuum in here, which is good. Ah, we're finally doing this setup. So we could actually start thinking about how we want the setup for this to be. So I think this goes straight down. I don't want the item to transpose on top of it and cause a problem. At the same time, having this go out and down is probably the cleanest design we could have. Realistically. And then another thing is, is that I think we want the radiant pipe like this, like that, like that, over that. Oh. I like that design. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do big chance, and we put the steel vent here. Thug life. Uh, I want this, I think. This does not have to be steel. And then this looks like that. How do I get the pipe down here? That's actually what the problem is. How do I get the pipe down here? Caffeine after 2, 3 p.m. will make it harder to fall asleep before midnight. Oh, I see a harvester of soy. That makes sense. I have problems sleeping at night. Every day. Alright, we're 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 slowly getting enough polluted water. Dude, I just realized I don't have a, a loop for this. Like, how do we get back? That means then... I think I just have to run it back here. Which I think is actually fine. Yeah. It'll be not actually perfect, but I'll be okay with that. So this goes like this. And then this is a thermal sensor. I want to run that with copper. Automation here. We'll also run copper. No, we run lead here. Yeah, we can run lead there. It shouldn't really ever get to above 300 degrees. And then from there, we're going to want radiant pipe. So it's going to be copper. And then insulated. And then this is a bridge. And then we want to run this, that. Oof. Hopefully that's fine. And then we run this. So the only problem is... I guess that didn't really matter, actually. Alright, we could change this up. No, I kind of like how I'm doing this, though. Because I don't have the hot water inside. That's actually kind of ideal. Uh, I also want the vent to drip on top of the AQ. I wish I could clean this up, man. I really, I really do. If this went here, no, this went up, left, down, right. I would have to do this, that. And I would do up, down. That doesn't work though. Up, over. down 
and then squiggly line? Dude. I think we just keep it like this. 160, we're almost there. I want to say while this works, I'm not happy with it because it's not clean. <laughs> God damn it, man. Not happy because it's not clean. I'll, 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 I'll live with it, though. It should be fine. Alright, lead temp shift plates. And then we're going to do four plates in the middle. Alright, and we got to do the same type of pipeline work. This one's on this side. Oh. Oh, no. I got to swap this. No, I didn't build this properly. All right, we got to swap that. Alinden, how are you? Welcome in. I see you over there. Hello, hello. How was the days? How is the Tuesdays? You know what it is? It's Tuesday, baby. I probably just want to run something like that. Get that plugged in. I might also put steel batteries inside just to hold the power we generate from the steam turbines. Because I know we will. And then that way, you know, it'd be okay. For the aqua tuners. It uses 1,200 watts of power. Yeah, it's a lot. This is very power heavy. So if you don't know what this is, this is the back of a fridge that we have in real life. <laughs> if you didn't know. That's the back of a refrigerator. <laughs> uh, let's move the sweet old babies to here. Welcome in, though. Peaceful, peaceful Orens. Welcome in, welcome in. We got the pip. Oh, why are you using the toilet inside? It's fine. You're supposed to be inside anyways. A regular fridge, right? A regular fridge in real life. In real life, not in game. <laughs> not in game. I'm talking about real life over here. We're out of sulfur, boys. We got to go grab some. That's going to be fun. Doing good. I'm just transferring several thousand files to the test servers. I could see if I'm removing two mods from Minecraft mod, uh, mod pack will break anything without having to do testing on the main server. <laughs> Why does it sound like that's more work, though? Oh, a little bit too much pee water. 250 is good. You don't want to get above 250, though. Well, you don't want to get above 300, so we're actually fine. Not those Samsung smart fr fridges. Are they different? Are they different? Aren't they the same thing? All right, so one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna swap the steam turbine because of the port for where the uh, pipelines are was flipped. So I needed to change that. That way the piping would be uh, symmetrical. That was the uh, small problem we had. And then this goes here. This goes there here and then we do the same design and then here and then from here we go like that Thermal pipeline sensor. Let's get this here. All right. What are you going to be cooling it with? Uh, pea water. Pea water is going to be uh, the water we have a lot of. 
so we need a vacuum here. We need to build out the rest of this. Uh, this could be pea water now. And then how is the fridge? Are right, we still are okay. Uh, no one's running this. Oh, it doesn't have consumers. That's why no one's running it. That makes sense. But yeah, the fluid needs airing for heat transfer. You just hit it better. My grandma had a very old one, and she used to dry clothes. Instead of... <laughs> That's funny, man. That's smart, though. They would use the heat from the fridge to dry clothes. That's smart, though, man. I would say that's pretty smart. I wouldn't be mad about that. <laughs> oh, man. Technically, I do want this here. Yeah, we got to build everything right now. Uh, let's do a suit swap forcefully. That way it's going to be a little bit better. Oh, and I never did this. Uh, we need to do this and that. To charge suits. Esme. Naps. And then Ravco right here. Rav goes to sleep. Once he wakes up, we'll do this. Any short version of the cooling system there? Three layers of different li uh, liquids? Uh, what do you mean short version, Narander? I don't, I'm not exactly sure what you mean when you say that. Well, it is more work, but the person I'm a dev is streaming for the main server, so I wanted to make sure it could change could be tested without interrupting the content. Ah, uh, that's, that's props. You know, that's props. But you know what's funny? That's exactly how the dark and darker thing started. Hey man, uh, we need you guys to work during COVID, so you guys are just gonna work from home. We're just gonna give you the files. <laughs> you guys make it, make your own server, test the things, and let us know when it's done. And then, bam! A couple years later, we have this fiasco going on. I just tuned in, sorry if question I was answered before. I just wanted you to explain 10 minutes because it might be boring for the run. Oh no, I see what you're saying. Um, it's basically, we're trying to use this room as a coolant room, if that makes sense. So we're gonna be having metal volcanoes. These metals are gonna be like 2000 degrees each when they spawn. So as a result, they're gonna need to be cooled down. Now, if you have metal that hot in the thousands of degrees, it doesn't really matter what you touch. It's going to boil it, right? In most cases. So we need to figure out a way effectively to not have that happen. Our strategy is going to be utilizing what's known as a stacked liquid effect. Stacked liquids allow you to fill up the room with liquid and make it so that you don't flood the building. This is going to be the strategy we use. So what we're doing is we're avoiding how a building gets flooded. How a building gets flooded is something known as a 35% rule. 35% rule is where you take the maximum mass of a liquid on a single tile before it spills over, it creates a new tile, and then take 35% of that value and then go under that value for each layer. So the building will check each layer of the building to see if there's any liquid at 35% of the maximum mass or higher. If we use 1,000 as a baseline, we could use 250 as a safe spot because we know that oil, if you actually um, don't know, the maximum value of this is 870. So if you take 35% of 870, I think it's about like 300. So it's lower than the other ones, right? And if you put too much, it floods the building. And once the building gets flooded, you have to either A, rebuild the building from scratch, or B, remove all of the liquid. You can't have a single gram of water that's not mopped up so that's going to be the thing about that so yeah it's 304.5 kilograms for the oil that's interesting but yeah since we're able to stack the liquids at 200 kilograms per tile and the water is very good at absorbing heat we basically are going to be having 10 kilograms of metal because that's going to be the conveyor rail auto sweeper setup and 
it's going to be running through 200 kilograms per tile of water. That's about 20 times the mass, which means that it doesn't matter how hot it is, it's going to be divided by 20, right? That's effectively what that means for the heat calculations. Now, that's not even considering the radiant pipe we're going to be running in this area, because that's going to be running on top of the rail at the same time. So not only do you have the water in the tank, you have the water in the pipes, and that's actively being cooled down as well. So that's effectively what we're doing. We're trying to run it so that this effectively works kind of nice. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. Let me know if there's any part of it you don't understand. I got you. That's only the bottom half. We're doing like a weird spill path as well. It's, ah, oh man. It's, it's, some people might call this an exploit. <laughs> but yeah, it should work out. It should work out. I love explanations. I find them very helpful when watching the VOD. Hey, I see you over there. I don't mind explaining. I, I don't. It is cool. Don't mind it at all. Uh, so flooding of the area is a way to prevent the very hot metal from spilling in. No, the flooding of the area is to make sure that I have enough mass to cool down the metal in one go. Uh, so the temperature is going to come out at, it's going to be around 150 degrees. And then at 150, we'll move it into the room. It actually won't do anything bad because the room is uh, going to be closer to zero. It's going to be around 10 to 15 degrees inside. And what we'll actively have happen is that's going to pass through one time and it should chill the metal to the temperature that we want. Now, the thing is, is that I haven't really decided if I'm going to run a double pass or a single pass and separate the metals. Because I'm thinking what would make the most sense in this game is to do two things. First, you have Cobalt. Right, the stat of this is, uh, we're looking at SXC, 0.42. And then we have this, Iron. Uh, molten Iron. Stat of this is going to be 0.449. So technically speaking, Iron should get its own side. And then cobalt and copper should be on its own side that's what i'm thinking oh it don't worry we're not we're not close the right room is almost done the left room is not even close it's gonna need double the time that this needs i see you though i see you how perfect is the order of the stack uh Oil is the heaviest, so that goes first. You always have to go with the heaviest liquids in order. So you have to do one layer first. You have to make sure there's no gas bubble stopping you, because that means it's going to, you know, bop you on the second layer. And then after you get the first layer, you're going to go with the second heaviest. In my case, it's polluted water and then regular water. Now, in most cases, I don't actually remember the order of heaviness. I remember two things. Oil is the heaviest and water is the lightest. That's all you have to remember. The only one liquid that's lighter than water, you don't get unless you go out of your way to make, and that's viscal gel. Viscal gel is the only liquid that sits on top of water. It's weird. And the funny thing is that because it's the only liquid lighter than water, it's literally the worst thing you could choose for a liquid lock. You don't want viscal gel ever in any shape or form. And why is that? If you put viscal gel on the floor and water washes on the floor, the viscal gel breaks. Because it's lighter than the water, so the water is going to get underneath the viscal gel and then it's going to topple. <laughs> it's going to be weird, man. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's supposed to be good, but it's doo-doo. So you got to watch out for that, man. Viscal gel is not that good, actually. So the bottom room gets filled with steam, cools the iron. How are the other two volcanoes included there? Metal drop down bottom chamber. Yeah, we're going to have a vacuum here. It's going to spill. And since it's a vacuum, there's not going to have any heat transfer. So the metals should never solidify. Once it spills, it's going to spill into the mesh and then pop out diagonally. So the copper is going to pop out this way and the cobalt is going to pop out that way. 
and then you have to run a heat sink here, right? So you can't let any gas through, but you need to absorb the heat from the metal. Right? So that way we have window tiles that doesn't melt because the melting point's at 3,900. That way we could absorb the heat and I'm going to put a temp shift plate here. That way we pull the heat down and then the steam turbines suck it up. So what we're missing in this room is temp shift plates and then my conveyor rail set. But we need to do the steam turbines first. We don't have time to do the other ones yet. But yeah, this is going to be the triple volcano tamer build. It's going to be... It's going to be a mission, to say the least. Is So is Visco Joe worthless? I felt that way to me. No, it's not technically worthless. I have a very particular build that requires Visco Joe. And it's for an endgame building design. That's typically endgame in and of itself. I'm not going to get too much into it because I never really finished that video, but I really should. <laughs> but yeah, there is uh, some nice designs you could do. Space for a dupe? Hey, Justin, I see you over there. We do. We have we have like five dupes. Ren, Hassan, Abe, Nikola, Mima. We got five dupes, man, if you do want to join in. What does the build do? I can't tell you, man. It's a secret. It's a secret, man. If you do the build, you become a 9C climber. And that's unheard of, man. People can't even do 9B. See, only Justin knows what I'm talking about, though. Alright, Justin, who would you like to claim? He's talking my language now. Hey. All right, the water's at 150. Nikola. All right, we got you. This is at 60, and that's at 20 still. Okay. All right, we have to go back home to select Nikola. All right, Justin. I don't have any climbing outfits for you, man. I'm sorry. We got no climbing outfits for you. All right, you're gonna be a sporty boy, t-shirt, short gloves. What color are your gloves, man, when you do climbing? Do you wear gloves when you climb? Are there any unclaimed dupe mechatronic engineers? Ooh, I'll have to check, I'll have to check. I don't know if the ones we have unclaimed are actually part of it. Thermium felt bad too, by the time I got it, I really didn't need it. Yeah, Thermium is something you almost never need. It's only if you want to see if it's there and what you could do with it. A lot of times, the only reason why you want Thermium is going to be because you want to make a Aqua Tuner Boiler. It's a unique build, I guess. You could argue that. And it's effectively... Uh... Fan of Blue. Okay, we got you. Justin Man, Climb the Rocks. You got Denim Shoes. Right? It's like the Gorilla Grip, dude. <laughs> I think the Gorilla Grip shoes. With the toes sticking out. Thermium is for when you want to... So if you guys don't know what Thermium is, let me talk about that. Thermium is actually kind of nice. Because it does something very unique. It is the most overheat threshold. Plus 900. And the reason why that's actually really nice is because... You could actually add that to the Aqua Tuner. That means 900 plus 125 is 1025. You could reach a thousand degrees with just running the Aqua Tuner, which means you could run the Aqua Tuner as a boiler. You could put this inside the oil and boil oil to petroleum. You could put this inside the petroleum and boil the petroleum to sour gas. So having Vermium allows you to use the Aqua Tuner as a heat source. And it gets to an insane temperature. Now, how would you do that? You actually would also want super coolant. The thing is, is that super coolant, while it's really good, has the highest SHC, so it generates the most amount of heat on the Aqua Tuner building itself. So you would basically just loop super coolant, try to like cool something down, and yeah, you would just do it like that. You could you could probably do a meme strat where 
you use super coolant to cool down a metal volcano. <laughs> I could probably see that happening, man. It's going to be mad jank. I could see it happening. And then that heat that you have absorbed could be just dumped into this instead. And then you accumulate all the heat together. Timo, I see you over there. Give me one second. I want to make sure my water is doing okay. All right, Timo, who would you like to claim? Ren, Hassan, Abe, and Meemaw. But yeah, D-Mayor, some of the end game stuff is kind of lacking, which is why people want, like, like the story trait stuff was cool, because they added mechanics in and not just a new item. Banana, Pajama, Abe. Oh, I have to, have to go home first. All right, man, Abe's in. Timo's in. Are you? Oh, you are? We're gonna give you the balloons? I like oranges. Alright. Oh, you're the orange man. With the underwear. It's, it's time. Look at this guy match. What's up, Timo? I see you over there. Could you make a sour gas bowler with an aqua tuner that also cools it down to liquid methane? Yeah, you could. Yeah, that actually does work. I messed up his name. Wait, I spelled his name? Did I spell this wrong? This is right. Oh, he wanted the name to be Pajam. Oh, my bad, my bad. He wanted a custom name. My bad. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Where's this guy at? Wait, that's not you. That looked like you, though. There he is. He's talking to himself. Look at this guy. He's wearing matching, comfy home clothes. Long, knee-high socks, underwear, short sleeve t-shirt. Short gloves. Look at that, he's going to sleep, dude. He knows what time it is. Oh, and he has one of those nice beds as well. Dreaming of all the oil. I see you over there. Welcome in, though, Timo. Alright, so how are my liquids? This is about good, so we don't need this anymore. Then on this side, 135. Okay, we still need some on that side. This is good. All right, we just need to wait for the dupes to build out the other stuff. Milligram, that's all right. This has power, that's gravy. All right, so we don't need to run the wheel. That's cool. I got a couple of exams this week, so I'll be studying and lurking. Hey, gotcha, Justin. Damn. When is spring break, man? When does spring break happen, Justin? If you're going to school, you probably know, because that's, that's a nice time off for y'all, right? I'm not gonna lie, man. I don't remember when spring break is anymore. Oh, the water froze. Oh, dude, was it that cold over here? Our right, good news is, is that we're pumping in micrograms, so we don't even need to unleash everything. It was last week for us. I went skiing in the mountains, and it was awesome. Oh, nice. Oh, dude, spring break already happened? Dude, I didn't even know. So out of touch. You pick man, welcome in. I see you over there. Trying to do a boiler system right now. Oh, we bopped the oil on the side. Okay, I want to fix this, of course. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because it's open right now. We doing all right, man. Just trying to finish our uh, volcano builder or tamer. Everything's going all right. But yeah, we have a lot we need to build. All right, let's go inside. We got to do a suit check. Oh, I never delivered the suits. Oh, man, they're going to have to charge. It's going to take a while. Oh, snap. Hurry up with the charge, y'all. This has got to be first, right? Alright, so this is Ravka.
This is no oxygen, so it's the second one. There we go. This is Esme. And then we do this. This is non-stop nouns. Then we do that one, allow them to go outside. Let's go. All right. So let's get construction. Let's get the right side done first if we can. They're still going to deliver the water. It's fine. Oh, I just realized. No, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, we have to build everything inside before we could seal up the rooms. Yeah, we need more workers. We do. We'll have to come back with the mechatronics guy. 100%. We'll need to come back with a mechatronics guy. You know what actually would be amazing? Dropping off a rover here. Hey, Narander. <laughs> oh, wait. Who was asking for uh, Leo? That was you, right? I just, I just totally forgot. Do we have a mechatronics guy? <laughs> That's not taken. I totally forgot about that. Uh, it's not Ren. It's not Hassan. Didn't we have at least one other guy? Mimo. It's not Mimo. We don't have any unclaimed mechatronics guys, sadly. Narander, who would you like to claim? We got Hassan, Ren, and Mimo. Let me know, let me know. Leo, that was you, right? Asking for a mechatronics guy? We sadly don't have a free one yet. And we'll take the dirt. Uh, kitchen menace, that's a cook. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, if you get one, I'll claim that one. Gotcha, gotcha. Narander, let me know. I'll take everything. I see you. So you're just gonna I'm gonna give you the over the sky then it looks like. Alright, we need to continue chilling chilling this. Yeah, the energy is right there. This is helping us out though. This should be helping us out as well. Chill, do that, do that. Free metal, it's always nice. And then we could trim this one two three yeah it would be not bad slickster we're gonna have to mop up the oil here here and there's no power here let's make steel forever because we can should be good oh i never i forgot about julie dude oh snap i forgot about julie uh julie swap suits that means these guys are probably done as well. How bad is this? All right, some of the food rotted. Oh, we're out of power. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, let's go back just to get some power and start telescoping again. All right, so we do this. How are we over here? Oh, that's the sound. So from here, oh, I forgot to get the wart seed. Ah, uh, maybe it's not needed. Yeah, okay. So I want to do something here. So let's go here. Julie might need abyssalite mining as well, just because I want to mine this out as well. All right, let's turn this off. I want to flip this to see if that helps. And then that's ice. Is that going to freeze my water? All right, I'm curious to see if this works. And how are we doing over here? They should be fine. Sleeping outside eating? Okay. All right, so now it's power. I have just enough lead. Let's go. 
No. Oh, I don't have enough lead. Oh, not like this. Oh, it's right here. Let's go. <laughs> we had enough. We had enough. Leech abated me hard, though. Alright, so now we could do this. And then we turn this on. Alright, now we want to go in here. Let's put sulfur in here. Alright, this is going to be kind of weird. So this is going to give me a lot more. This actually... Wait, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, so 937. That's actually better. Wait, how? So that gives me. That's better. Yeah, we doubled our rads. Oh, that's so annoying. Wow, yeah. We need to chill this tile. No, it doesn't matter. I have to remove this. Because this is not actually getting cooled by the floor. No, yeah, it, it needs to be northeast, but it doesn't matter. It's not getting cooled right now. I think that's the problem. 32.8... It goes down, but I think that's because it's it's a decimal place. Because it's constantly going up. Oh, that's mad annoying. Uh, let's go inside because you're getting radiation sickness. Like, while this charges double the rate, and that's perfect... The problem ends up being that I can't cool this. I mean, we do have this here, and it's not like it's a problem. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to go to a conductive panel. Oh, I don't have refined metal. One, two. Okay, we could pick up some refined metal nearby. Just by doing a couple quick things. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do that. We'll do that. So... Damn. Insulated pipes, huh? Because it's going to be like that. I don't know if we could actually build that by ourselves. I might be able to get refined metal internally too. That's one suit dock. True. And that would solve all the problems. Like if we have this conductive panel, I think we're good. The only thing is that we need a little bit more water. That's where this is going to be coming from. Uh, yeah. We'll let him do this. It should be okay. If anything... Oh, it's 188? Oh, that's actually kind of bad. There is a lot of rads here. Alright, we're gonna stay inside. So that they could just pee and pee out some of the rads. Take care of business. Yeah, so we should have power here. Yeah, they could stay here for at least a couple more days. Alright. Go back to here while they're going to have to pee. The vacuum's almost there. Oh snap. Let's go. And how is the liquid layer? 197. It's almost done. Rat pills will be nice. Yeah. I didn't make any. I should have made some. Looks like we will want to do a suit swap soon. They're uh, starting to need some oxygen. And... Oh, I thought we had a vacuum. We're, we're really close. Really close. Let's go inside, guys. Y'all know what it is. Oh, snap. Okay. Power just went out. We have power here. Okay. 
Ooh, always lucky. There we go. Still powered. Still powered. Let's go. All right, naps. Ravco. Deliver. Deliver. Let's go allowed outside. Oh, we could do this. Uh, Esme. Nice. Greetings, by the way. Joined earlier and got sidetracked. Yo, V. Rossi over there. Welcome in, welcome in. Rainbow layers. Hey, man. Is it actually rainbow? Inside here. Nah, they good, they good. Back at home. Okay, we got that. Yeah, we need sulfur, dude. We really need sulfur. Uh, looks like we're not going to be able to do anything else. We're just going to go all the way back home. I still think when I see the means of cooling. Oh, I see you. With the uh, temperature scheme thing. Be like that sometimes. All right, did we pee yet? How low is your rad? So when you pee, you remove 100 rads. Oh, it's still kind of high. Uh, Julie, we're going to do a meme strat. Oh, everyone's packed into here. What the heck is this? Uh, all right, we're going to make a meme strat. So we'll do morning shift. Bath time, and we'll start moving some people down to there. Do you have a rocket pilot available? Oh, unclaimed dupe? I might. I might. Give me one sec. Oh, I gotta get you a dupe, right? Narander? Give me one sec, one sec. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, I needed a new schedule. I needed Julie on the new schedule. And then I also needed to do a, the meme strat of the day. And that is... We're gonna force him to use the restroom. Can you use the restroom forcefully? Uh, bladder is not high enough yet. So this is 100% per cycle. 24. Yep, there it is. Bathroom time. So I'm forcing him to pee twice so that we remove the radiation a little bit faster. Come on, finish the, finish the thing. Nice. All right, we'll move you back. And then we do want to do suit swap. And then the radiation is gone down to 15. Not bad. Okay, so now you're allowed to go outside and build a pipeline. Should be good. Then we're back to here. How are we doing? Vacuum is accomplished. Oh, no. No, no, we got it. We got it. Nice. All right. So this is done. We're going to bop the vents. Going to do that. Remove these two. And then we're also going to cut the wheel so that no one runs on it accidentally. Uh, 197. No one's adding pee water here anymore. Oh, it's because they have a priority nine build. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, we'll allow, allow them to just finish this. All right, now let's go back home. Uh, let's see. Ren is not a pilot. Mimo is not a pilot. Hassan is not a pilot. Yo, man, none of my new guys are pilots. Feels bad. None of my new guys are pilots. We'll get you Ren, I think, is going to be who we're going to give you. You're going to be a rancher, man. You're not going to be our decorator, though. Oh, you're an interior decorator. Wait, do you have the skills? No skills. Okay. All right, Naranda, we got you in. Nice. 
Nice. More balloons. Let's give them the green balloons. Okay. Let's go with the denim shirt. White capris. That look kind of Miami Vice, man. We need some nice gloves for that. Ah, we go with this. Why is it that when I think about people wearing white jeans, I'm thinking about Miami? I don't know, man. Is that weird? When I think about people who have white pairs of jeans, I'm thinking about, like, people in Miami. I don't know, man. I've seen too many shows. And it's always like the main character is always wearing white pants. Miami Vice, I, I guess, is influencing. Is that a thing in Miami Vice? Wearing white jeans? I am not familiar with that. But if it's a thing, I believe it. I'll grab the igneous rock from the inside. Not asking for a review, but depends what area you're from. Uh... I guess it's it's like things like growing up with burn notice. You guys remember that? That TV show? That might be part of it. I'm not sure if it actually is, but I think it is. That was a good show. I haven't seen it in like a decade though. I'm gonna be real. It's been a long time. It has been a long time, man. Burn notice. On the USA? I think it was. Bird Nude is so much fun. Didn't he always wear, like, bright colors? Not, like, Hawaiian stuff, but, like, you know, still stylish. That's what I thought the idea of Miami Vice came from, that TV show. Wasn't there also a TV show called Miami Vice? <laughs> there was, right? I remember a lot of these shows from when I was younger. Man, these guys are slow though, man. We need these guys to hurry up. I feel like we need the rover here. Because the rover wouldn't have downtime. And they would be constantly supplying all of the things. So that my builders could work. There is an 80s show called that. Ah. I see, I see. Yeah, it was all very South Beach. Miami Vice for the 80s. That makes sense. Oh, they, they had the Obama suit? The tan suit? I see you over there. Natsu Fire Eater. Isn't Natsu uh, looking for his dad? <laughs> Wait, is that the same Natsu from Fairy Tale? I see you over there. Yo, man, you look like you... Oh, 120. Dude, yeah, Julie's, Julie's struggling, man. Just to get this built. Alright, part of me thinks... I could do some meme strats here. Okay. So, I am gonna do this. And then we do that, that. And I'm hoping this speeds up the build. Because regular pipes are a lot faster to make. And we're in a vacuum. I'm thinking it's not going to matter too much. I'm hoping that it's going to be a little bit better. Why are the dupes using the stairs? The stairs? The stairs? The stairs? Do we have stairs? Yo, man, there's no stairs in this game. Wait, hold up. There's no stairs in this game, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. There are stairs? Wait, what stairs are we talking about? All oh, that is fairy tale, yo, man. I, I, when I was young, I followed fairy tale. 
until uh, Mystagon sighting. And then I stopped watching after that because it got really bad. <laughs> like, yo, man, I, 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 dude, after Mystagon, I was like, yeah, that's, yep, that was badass. But then everything after that, I was like, yo, man, what's going on, man? You saw that too? Yeah. What's wrong with that dude? No air in the suit? Oh, yeah, there's no air in the suit. All right, let's go inside. Let's do a suit swap. Ravco, non-stop naps, and then Esme, and then suit, suit, suit. Hey, legit, had a couple of other questions. Is there a way to see all your food based on how stale it is? And if someone knows a mod, if you want a mod for food, there's only one mod you need. Um, I don't play with it, but it's actually very, very good. And that mod is called uh Cthulhu, I summon you. Can I can I summon the guy from the deep that's sleeping in the water? Oh oh I remember now. Never mind Cthulhu, go back to sleep. Uh it's called Waste Not Want Not, I think. That mod makes it so that it flips your duplicates uh priorities. And that's something you can't change in the game. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, the duplicates always and when i say always it's always prefer fresher food over spoiling food so if you have two food items that are identical two roasted grub nuts one at 99 percent and one at 10 percent they will always 10 out of 10 times choose the 90 percent fresh the duplicates will prefer fresher food always in this game now if you get the mod it flips it so that they always eat the most stale food so a lot of times that's all you need and then you just have to make sure that you know the stale food doesn't actually rot <laughs> but yeah i don't know if that solves your problem it should in a lot of cases but it might not in some cases right but that mod might be all you need to this day i've never finished it me too i haven't seen it yeah no air in the suit that was a, that was a little bit of a struggle right there first in first out mod yeah first in first out pretty much fifo counting terms man it'd be like that sometimes all right the pipes are getting more built uh i'm scared though that the radiation oh 275 yeah let's go home dude how bad is the radiation sickness is it major it's still minor nice all right man you're staying in here for a while you're gonna eat the food, pee, do the things. The food is not gonna rot, right? Yeah, it's fresh, 1%. And we have no change, 100%. Nice. Alright. Oh! Oh, okay. Ooh, I thought we overfilled. Other is how to melt a lot of uh, cold uh, ice fast. I have the ice on gold block with wolf heat plate. And my water that's coming back is going over the ice with radiant pipes. Thanks. I do use that mod. Just wanted to be sure I have enough people eating all of the things. Okay, okay. So your food, there is no realistic way to actually view all your food, sadly. Um, the best thing you could do is putting the food item on the side. So if I go home, let me put in barbecue. Right? And then it'll pop up on the side. Hey man, right here. And it's gonna show you your calories. You could click on this and you could cycle through all your food, right? So that's 100%, 300,000 K cows, 7,000 at 100, 9,000 at 100. That's the only way you could really do it. There's no way to kind of get like a catalog list and showing all your foods and the quality that they're sitting at. There's no real way to do that at the moment. Yeah, foodless mod. That's effectively what you're going to need. So the second thing is how to melt a lot of ice fast. I have ice on a gold block with ice uh, play. Okay. The easiest way, and it's by far the best way to do it, 
you build temp shift plates out of ice. So that means you do have to mine it. Oh, this is igneous. What am I doing here? That's supposed to be ice, man. So if you build a temperature plate with ice and you have it touching a solid tile that you could stand on, it should immediately melt if that tile is above zero. So ice, right? The problem is, is that it's slow to melt because the stats are pretty good. We have a 2.05, 2.0, uh, 2.1 connectivity. If you build a temp shift plate, a temp shift plate averages out the area around the temp shift plate every time it's built. And every time that you're doing a heat check, it's averaging out the temperatures around it. So if the average temperature is positive and then the ice is negative, if you have enough mass, it's going to immediately melt. Uh, let me see if there's any problems here real fast. All right, we well, should be fine. All right. So I'll show you that uh, phenomenon right now. So ice temperature plate, you can see it. I'm going to slow this down to 1x speed when it's now so that it's real time. Hey, look at that. It melted and it's cold. God damn. That's a gangster. You lose water when you're digging the ice. If that makes sense. Um, so when you dig anything in the game, you lose half the mass. That is the only mass you lose. When you melt ice into water, you lose nothing. So effectively, you know, you're good. <laughs> if you're okay with mining the ice, that is. Because that's the only way for you to get the material to build the temp shift plate. No loss for plates, nope. Uh, if you don't want to do that because you want the ice to kind of stay there, you could build a slower method, which is uh, furniture, ice statue. If you build the ice block statue, it's half the mass, but it's not going to melt all the way. So this is like a slow, like, you know, small buffer, keep it there kind of a thing. But, you know, it's going to be slow. Temp shift plates for speed. Ice block might be for something like that as well. Uh, what's that item that deletes heat when you make that item? Uh, if you're talking about hot item into a fixed temperature, it's basically anything. So this is typically something you would do on a hot planet like this. Yeah, it resets a hot item. Yeah. So basically, if you guys didn't know, if you build any building in a vacuum, it actually resets to 45 degrees. If the material temperature range that you use to build that item, it's outside of a certain window of temperature. So if you actually build obsidian, right, that's at a thousand degrees into ladders like this, they will all go from a thousand degrees down to 45. That's just how the game handles. If you happen to accidentally build something with the hot materials, there's no way to stop your dudes from choosing that, you know, item on the floor. So because of that, they just made it so that there is just never going to be an issue. There is one thing about that though. If the dupe supplies the build, but they don't build it, the hot item sitting in the blueprints will be leaking out heat constantly if you have an environment. So that means if you don't have a vacuum and you have oxygen like this, and then I wanted to build a tile and the igneous tile is 90 degrees, it's going to leak out the temperature 90 degrees until you build it. So that means it's going to heat up the gas before the tile resets back down to 45. But yeah, that's the things you kind of have to worry about with that. All right, so inside here, how's the radiation? 86. All right. Meme strat time. Julie, all you're going to do is go to the restroom and pee out the rads. Every time you pee, it's minus 100. Nice. All right. Let's move you back out. Let's do a suit swap. And then after you do that, we'll let you outside. All right. We will need water here, and that's going to be another thing. All right, thanks for those things. Although, I guess I should use that next heat item for the steam power. I need to get into the whole steam thing. Ooh, that's going to be... Uh... Once you get steam turbine, man, and you can deal with heat, dude, that's going to be a lot of times where you kind of go like, oh, man, <laughs> I'm going to cool down my entire map, and no one's going to stop me. 
who's going to stop me, you know, kind of a deal. <laughs> like, no one's going to stop me. None of you guys can. I'm going to cool down my entire map so it's 20 degrees Celsius. In the entire map, even the magma core. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. All right. This is at 33 degrees. I don't remember what temperature it was when we landed. Feels bad. Also, there's a lot of sandstone here. We're gonna use uh, sandstone for the majority of this. Oh. Wrong type of, wrong type of pipe. That should be good. Thirty-two point eight. I think it was thirty-two point eight, because this has to be going up. This has to be going up. Is this actually getting cooled by the water? I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure if this is actually being cooled by the water, man. Because the water's at 32.9. Is it? 32.2. No, it's 32. So this is hotter than the water. Okay, so we should be heating it up then. I can't tell, man. I really can't tell. Alright, so it's these guys that need a... We might want to send these guys home and come back. Oh, 317? Oops. That's my bad. <laughs> I put a little bit too much water in there. Oops. That's fine, though. It's fine. The one issue I do run into is that the starting planet never has oil for the oxygen for submerged bomb. I ended up needing to use brine or something. That's fine. Using the other liquids is perfectly fine. There's no, like, downside to that, to be honest. I wouldn't say that's a bad thing or anything. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Well, sometimes the brine moves out of the way. Oh, well, I see you. Yeah, that can happen. That can happen. Where's the gas pump? It's gone. I have a vac. How did we get pollute? This was a vacuum. That's illegal. Who came in and farted? What is this? Do we have polluted oxygen? What the hell happened? Dude, who, 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 who put the gas in here? God damn it, man. Dude, seriously. That should not have happened, man. This didn't break. There's no water on the floor. This is sealed up. Yeah, it's waterlocked. Dude, what is this? I think it's a glitch. You had the same thing happen to a volcano tamer. Okay, I see you, Bubba Feta. All right, we're not, we, we, we'll come back and vacuum this. God damn it. We need to do the uh, turbine, though. That's the most important part right now. Man. Got baited, boys. It, it shouldn't be able to leak from the top. There's no way for the gases to come in. Yeah, the water's filling. It's fine. It's, it's the top layer now, not the uh, middle layer. Water left side? There's no way for this to come in, though. Because this is all solid. This, this needs water, though, so we still need to continue this. Doesn't look like there's a meteor shower coming soon. All right, we're probably gonna have to head back soon. I thought you might have been overfilling with your fart air. Man, I don't know what happened, man. 
The only thing that might have happened that I could see is I didn't release the gas from this because my water froze, right? I have ice right here because this is negative degrees. And then we remove the vents. When you remove the vents, the gases here flow backward into the pump, which means that if I deconstruct the pipes, we release the gas back out. I could see that happening. I don't think that did, though. But that is a possibility, right? Like, I can't throw that out of the question it's just because it's likely that's probably the culprit. There's no other way that could have happened unless we have something off gassing inside. Dude, that's really weird. Crop dusting is a travesty. It is, man. It is. Is there anything captured in mesh tile that could have made it in the way? Uh, no, this is gas as well. Now, the thing is, is that the polluted oxygen would liquefy into a liquid before a solid. It would still stay in here if that were the case. That's weird, man. I did, I did have a full vacuum, actually. The whole thing was vacuumed at the bottom. Man, that was jank. That was jank. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do, I guess. Um. So we're out of oxygen. Oh, these are all worn. Six percent none. Ah, uh, yeah, we gotta leave then. Actually, yeah, we should leave. We have to come back. Oh, there was a critter. Oh, yeah, that happened. You mean, you mean something like this? You mean like this guy? The slickster that's so slick that he's hiding behind the fossil? And if I didn't do that, I would never notice he was there. Isn't that absolutely insane? Like, what the hell is this? Uh, how are you doing over here? Where are you, Julie? Julie is 10 rads. Julie's doing great. Julie almost got this. All right, we'll leave Julie alone. Oni doing Oni things. Do you have flipped spawn set up on YouTube? I do. Oh, the flipped version? No, I just have the submerged version. I haven't made an updated version yet for the one I use. Where I have the generators inside. I haven't made a video for that yet. I could set it up though. Maybe. I just feel like there wouldn't be too much different with this. I guess we could talk about cooling this. That might be something to talk about. But I do have just a submerged version that just doesn't have the generators at the bottom. I don't talk about pre-filament either. That's actually kind of important, I think. Alright, so I think we're going to have to leave. Uh, because otherwise, I think we're going to have uh, oxygen problems. Oh, we got to open the doors. No, doors are open. Hey, why can't... Oh, they sniped us right here. What is this? This is blocking my rocket? Oh, what is this? Get this, man. What the heck is that slime? There we go. Now it's time to go. Can I see your priority screen for a sec? You probably want to see my new duplicate line. It took a while though, it did. I just tried it, but when I started Electrolyze, Hydra went up, preloaded, summoned there too. So for the preload to work, the room has to be a vacuum, right? So this entire room has to be a vacuum. After you do that, you pre-fill one of the rooms. It doesn't have to be specifically hydrogen. It doesn't have to be specifically oxygen. You could choose one of them to pre-fill. When you pre-fill the room, the electrolyzer should be off. And then you want the room to fill up with the gas. Make sure there's only one type of gas. So if you fill it up with oxygen and your dupes breathe out, you have CO2 bubble, that will ruin it. Uh, so make sure you keep that in mind. And then after you do that, plug in the electrolyzers one at a time. So once you have one of the rooms pre-filled, 
you could turn on one electrolyzer, just one. And then that one should naturally separate properly. Because the one electrolyzer will actually take what's there and then just naturally filter. Once that happens, you could turn on the other ones after the separation occurs. It's a little bit of order of operations, kind of. But yeah. L little bit uh, convoluted like that. Does this have oxygen? It does. Go, Julie. Alright, we're out of power here, so the food's gonna start to rot soon. What are your guys made a mess? Oh yeah, who was that? Oh, I didn't get to see. Uh soiled suit? No. Was it this guy? Oh, we're out of toilet water. Oh, dude, of all the things. Guys, we're going to need more piping in here, man. We're just going to do this now. Oh, we have no minerals in here. All right, we're going to do that at home. Oh, no. Yep. Feels bad. Beat his pants. Hate to see that kind of thing happen. Oh, that's why. No, man, just do this first. Don't I have all this is sandstone? <gasps> Dude, just build? Yeah, oh my god. I was running into that as a problem. I can't believe it. Alright, we're gonna bop this. And make this sandstone. I guess we do it like that for now. Gonna be messy in there by the time they're done. I know, man. Don't worry, man. We'll clean it up. We'll clean it up. This went down. 32.9. Wait, that if this goes down, that means it's being affected by the liquid here. And I'm wasting time. Aw, oh, dude. Am I actually just wasting time? It feels like this is affected. Man, I've been uh, resisting the spawn design and going with the Rodriguez for a while since last week. I don't think I'll be doing a run without the, the spawn anymore. <laughs> Honestly, once you build this, it solves the name of the game. It literally solves the problem that is the name of the game. Like, it's absolutely bonkers, man. It does everything you need. Infinite storage, natural separation, and then you can put the generators inside, and then it's like you just put everything on a heavy watt. Dude, I'm using the hydrogen. Dude, I could probably use this and put the uh, aqua tuner attached to this as well. Right? And I think we would balance out because I have so much H2. I have so much H2. It's kind of crazy. I like having electrolyzer just release hydrogen into the air for the chaos. Yo, this guy, man, is a mad lad. I see what would be wrong. This guy is not messing around. All you need to worry about is heat. I know you usually use water and pipes for the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta do it, gotta do it. Wait, where's my guy? Why are you choosing sandstone at the bottom of the map? Uh, we're locking you here. So that you just use a sandstone that's nearby. There is no world where you should go to the bottom of the map to pick up sandstone. Because all of it is here. All of it is here. The AI, man. What are you doing? Literally all the sandstone is here, man. Look at that, and he's just standing there, menacingly. He's waiting before he does his work. We have it, man. Let's go. Do you find that priority option to take distance into account of bathing to turn on? It's not bad to turn on. I have just never had it actually be beneficial. 
It doesn't feel like there's impacts. Is polluted water being turned into water? This is sulfur. Sulfur geyser. So technically, that's not what I'm doing here. Oof, that's going to be a mess. How is that making water? It's not. It's not making water. <laughs> it's not making water. Dude, why, why don't you just pick this up? Dude, we got to clean the launcher, dude. Don't worry, man. Nothing makes sense. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, picking up igneous rock. Oh, that stores inside. So we want to do this. Liquid sulfur, the waters. Yeah. <laughs> so this, this right here is a sulfur geyser. Sulfur is food. We're using that to grow the grub fruit back here, right? So the grub grubs eat it, and then the fruits need it as well. <laughs> Problem is, you can see I'm out of sulfur. <laughs> so we need to bring that back home right now. And what's happening is that our automation system isn't keeping up. That's the biggest problem right now. So now we're opening this. That just released a lot of oxygen, 14, 15 kilograms per tile, my bad. All right, now we want to build the conductive panel here. So it goes like this. Kind of jank. All right. All right, so that's there now. Auto save lag here, 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 here. All right, so now the last step we got to do. Uh, one, two, three, four. And then we got to get lead here. Oh, we're out of lead. Uh, that used all the lead. Okay. That means the plus one. We could probably get away with this. We could probably get away with that. Let free stream, I see you. I see you. Radio should farm 100 grand. I'm confused. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sulfur, sulfur, not pee water. Looks kind of weird, but it, it's it's uh it's pretty legit. Uh, I actually don't have water. Damn, use this water? How much is this here? I do need to do this. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. All right, Julie will be able to eat. Dude, we have two days. <laughs> Julie, you got this. Two days, two days. Oh, slugs are the worst. Hey, look, it's Go uh, Gossman. Gossman is Twinkle Toes. That's kind of nice. We'll take Gossman. Give me another demo, what a guy. <laughs> so one quick uh, out of the way question for new player. What can you do with chlorine vents? Uh, there are certain plants that actually consume chlorine. So dash of salt vine, this is one of them. You feed this sand and it converts uh, chlorine, six grams per second, into salt. So that is the intended use, I would want to say. Uh, of course, you don't have to use it for that. Second thing to do is to ranch squeaky puffs. Squeaky puffs uh, breathe in the chlorine and they give you bleach stone, but then they also eat the gas. And then you could use that as a food source. They survive. They do survive in the chlorine because it's 60 degrees. 
but uh, they're not comfortable, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, outside of that, yeah, it's really low use. You could use it as a, well, not as a something, but uh, chlorine, just in general, is a, where's the flavor text? Is a natural germ killing element in a gaseous state. So that means you could use it to kill germs off of your polluted water, water, whatever it is. Uh, off of your solids, off of your gases, your liquids. Outside of that, though, chlorine has very little use. Very little use. So that's kind of the problem with chlorine. It's not that good. I would put it as one of the bottom... It's a bottom three geyser, I would say. It's a bottom three geyser. Guys, people of chat, what are your bottom three geysers? Which geysers do you go, man, this geyser sucks. All right, so we got to swap suit one more time. Cancel the request. We're fine. I got three chlorine vents. Oh, dude, the the Oni gods are not uh, are not looking at you and smiling. They're looking at you and laughing, man. That's sad. Three chlorine vents, dude, that's a bad time. You can't just run a pipe through the room with that stuff, right? To get rid of germs? No, that doesn't work. You have to run it through a reservoir and let it sit inside the reservoir. So you need a stop loop setup. So you need to be able to move the ingredients in, whatever it is the elements are. And at the same time, you need to be able to uh, stop the loop from flowing because only the stuff inside the tank and needs to sit still is affected by the gas. Normally CO2 ones, yo man, CO2 is not that bad because you have a rocket engine that utilizes it. I could still see why it's not that good though. I almost never use the polluted oxygen, I'm not gonna lie. Hot CO2, yeah, specifically hot CO2 is pretty bad. Chlorine for sure, CO2 can at least make dirt. I'll see you with that, true. You, you CO2 skim it, and that costs of sand, convert that to compost. You use to make infinite oil, true, with slicksters. It's just that the one thing I hate about CO2 is that one hot CO2 geyser is like four slicksters, and that's it. Like, it doesn't even provide enough gas for a full ranch. That's the one thing about CO2 geysers that I don't like. It's not really, like, good. Like, I'm gonna be real, man. It's lacking. Would radiation kill germs in a pipe vent? No, radiation works in the same way. Radiation is going to be better in the open exposure. So if I have uh, radiation like this, the things inside the radiation exposure is going to be killed, but it does not affect content in a pipeline. So that's the thing you're, you know, not really in a go. Oh, this is jamming. That's my bad. Okay. That means we do this and I cut this line. Oops. We cut. Oops. We cut this, that, and then just have the water come out. There we go. Lame. Yeah, it'd be kind of lame, man. Feels bad. All right, so this guy's back. This guy's back. These guys need a lot of love. We need to ground the rocket. All right, so we need to do the pipeline in. Okay, it is. I need to go inside, though, and reroute that. There we go. Water is going to be needed. All right, we wanted to do jank pipes. So we're going to do this. All right. All right, zigzag. So we get more water. All right, we'll wait for the dupes to work on that. Interior, copper, plastic, Atmos suits. This is copper. I think we want it more. Let's go to 5k. The steel is fine. The lead, we're going to want more of. Plastic, it's not really going to matter anymore. Now, I'll still, I'll still carry the plastic. And then, what do we need? What do we need for this? We just need people to build, right? Like, that's kind of at the point where we're at. Yeah. And then, are we getting the water there? He's still working on that. 
Okay, that means I need to set this up to have more dupes. All right, let's get some more checkpoints. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. This is going to be a pain. Uh, construction. Make them work on that. We're going to need power for this. Water pipes. We'll have to increase food. That's all good. All right, let's go. All right, so I have a small room to dump stuff in first and scoop it up in another side. Wait, 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 wait. Regular infinite as well for filtering. Dope, yeah. The radiation be like that sometimes. Oh, we gotta mop this up. All the people peeing in their pants. We gotta clean up the mess. Alright, that's about right. Right, so I need a small room to dump stuff in first and scoop it up on the other side. Um, There's a lot of ways to do it, to be honest. Uh, dark matter. That's one of them. Putting it in the reservoir still works if you want to use chlorine or radiation. Uh, outside of that, yeah, you, you have the right idea. Current save almost a thousand days, never been to space. Hey man, no worries. Super coolant, it's my biggest motivation to go. Dude, it's nice man, super coolant. Are you on DLC, Blood Blight, or are you on base game? If you're on base game, I would be like, yeah, I can understand. Base game kind of sucks. <laughs> base game kind of sucks. The rocky calculations for fuel, man, is a bad time. You pick, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Wrestle rest easy. Super cool. It's really nice, though, man. Rocket science or something. Oh, dude. Base game rocketry is impossible without a little bit of knowledge. I actually think that if you have like the normal player try to do it on their own, they would give up before figuring it out. And it's not that it's difficult, it's just very... It's a variable equation. And a lot of people don't like to do variable equation uh, questions. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 yeah. So you know what I mean by when I say that, right? Variable equation question. The weight dictates the formula, but the weight is also a variable within that same formula. It's stupid, man. <laughs> so you're adding in a weight value for your rocket ship. Anything you add inside the rocket, whether it's a new module, adding fuel, adding oxidizer, it adds weight to the rocket. That, depending on what type of weight you have, dictates the formula you need to use because it's a variable equation. So the weight is a variable in the function and the weight dictates which function you use. So it's gonna be very convoluted. You're just gonna be like, I don't know why filling it up all the way doesn't get me further. <laughs> That's the biggest thing probably. Cause it's like, well, if my rocket is filled with fuel, I should be able to go max distance. That's like the logical way of thinking if you're a video game player. Cause you're not thinking about like how it is in real life. You're just thinking about it in video games. That, what I just described, having max fuel gives you the max distance is how the DLC works. The DLC makes it more like a video game. And honestly, the space in the DLC is a lot different as well. In the base game, you don't really get to choose too much, but in the DLC, you get a lot of like freedom and you get to go to other planets as well. But yeah, it's, it's, it'd be like that sometimes, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. Space out should really be base game. <laughs> I see a V-roll. It's a super steep learning curve, 100%. I once opened up my space out and my mind melted trying to understand how to use radiation. Ooh. The, the good news is, is that you don't really need to use radiation until like later on, right? You could do the beginning kind of stabilize. Like some of the radiation tech is very useful though. Rage spawn, welcome in. I see you over there. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for tuning in. But yeah, it's, it's a new mechanic and it's very easy that you get uh, radiation sickness. You gotta watch out for that, man. But you have to deal with rads. That's true. Um, if you want, I have a couple of videos that go over the rocketry stuff in the DLC.
but it's actually very simple. One of the things about radiation in this game is that there are certain materials that actually shield the radiation. And that's actually what I do. I protect myself and then I just ignore the mechanic. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's all I do. I protect myself and then I ignore the mechanic. <laughs> so inside my spacefarers that I'm using to travel, you'll see a layer on the top. That's because radiation comes in, right? And this is going to cause your dupes to get sick. If you just shield it with a radiation uh, shielding material, so that's plastic or lead, right? It's going to be either one of those two. Do the metal tiles get destroyed? No, they take no damage. You could use plastic or lead. Doesn't doesn't have to be metal tiles. It's the material specifically. So if I use lead, this is the only lead tile. And if I use plastic, this is the only plastic tile. Uh, they both have the same stats and they're both the same amount of mass. So it doesn't matter which one you use. But then by doing it this way, I could just pee and I'll cure myself from the poisoning. So yeah, I just ignore the mechanic. I just use the restroom and everyone's fine. So you could do that. Uh, but that's really, it's up to you. Coal power rockets. You know, that's CO2, man. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Blah, blah, you're the 1%. <laughs> I see you over there. Does it, the metal tile destroy it? Nope. Everything is good. Mom was awake. He's looking at me right now. Plastic rockets. Yeah, man. Bottle rockets. We all went to middle school. You guys know about that life. All right, so... I am here now. I need to cut this line. Because if the Aqua Tuner runs on, I get overload damage here. And then now I need to do pipeline segments. Alright, so we do that. And then that's off. So I am going to cut... Hmm. Alright, we're gonna do a forced pushback. And then a reconnect so that we get full bubbles. Oh, we got a small bubble again. Alright, so now we're gonna use the space. Let me cut this so that the water pushes up. Alright, so now we'll reconnect this. And then one, two. So we'll do that. That's not good. There we go. And then we'll do this cut line. Oh, it's slightly off. Okay, so we do this line. Yeah, so we cut the power here. And then we have a socket now. So this should be fine. There's a weird jam now. Uh, okay. The simple thing to do would be this. The materials nearby is probably sandstone. Let me do these two. Let me get that. Let's try to fix this. Come on, Julie, you got this. You could breathe, you could breathe. Sandstone's right there. That's all you need for the two pipes. All right, this is a meme strat. So since this is connected, the water wants to flow backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull an extra bubble backwards. So that's 10 kilograms right there. We're going to go like this. And we're going to have to fill up the space, right? So it's going to hook. All right, open space. So now we do this. And it flows... Uh this way oh that's the wrong way wait that should not be powered and then it flows back right wait it's supposed to flow backwards what are we doing what are we doing oh is it this way it is 
help with it both wants to go that way all right i messed up i thought i was smart but i am not smart all right we're gonna have to put an intake here uh This is going to force drag. There we go. That should be the force drag. And then now we have a two space bubble gap. Why is it not working f full form? Alright, man, let's pull out another bubble. Aw, uh, did he move back inside? Yep, he did. Yo, man! What's up with these pipeline shenanigans? Uh, let's do this here. Yeah, it's too much water. I thought moving one bubble would be enough, but I, I guess not. So we have one space in here, but I don't want this to jam. If we get these two, I think it works. All right, schedule, Julie, eat as much as you can before the food rots. Okay. All right, so the sulfur here is at 60 tons. Wait, hold up. Why do I have so much sulfur? <laughs> I probably want to come back and loot the bottom of the map, huh? Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, okay, there we go. Come on, you got this. You got this. Come on, Julie. There we go. Alright, so here, 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 here. There we go. There we go. All right, so I could move one more bubble in. And then we cut it. Nice, perfect. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so we could leave now. Uh, we could come back and bring some more sulfur home. Oh, I don't have a rover on this one. Okay, that's fine. Oh! Does that work? I would want to do this before leaving. Uh, I think it does. I think it does. Okay, so I want this here. That there. And then... Oh, the automation. Of course. Uh, I guess we could bop these two. So let's get these two on priority, because I'm right there. And then... Oh, man. I think this this is going to be really nice, if I could pull it off. This is going to be setting up for next stream, though, because I would maximize it in a full stream. Yeah. Oh, you did in decon. Oh, you did. The LED's just there. Okay. Oh, dude, I get some free light right there. Come on, Julie, you got this. Nice. I guess I don't need to do this. We just need to lock the door. Uh... I am going to lock this, and then I'm going to do a meme strat where I do crew. So this guy's stuck. I'm forcing him to do the work. This is copper ore. 
All right, so what's the path in here? The ore is right here. That's not enough. Uh, let's allow you to go to the bottom. This is going to be nine. You're not suffocating. You'll be fine. And then all we need is this. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to send a rover here. And then we're going to make them sweep all the sulfur at the bottom and deliver it to here. There shouldn't be anything that causes him to have a bad time. He's not going to be able to go inside because I locked the door. And then, yeah, that should mean it should work. Yeah, we need some more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all the sulfur down here, all 60 tons, will be able to be put inside. And I think with this now, we get three shots. We get three shots a cycle. Dude, that's insane. So we go from 1.5 to 3, so we double up. Okay, I'm going to hope this is enough. I am going to hope that's enough. And then we just need to move all the sulfur inside so that the sulfur in here doesn't actually run out. Oh, this is active. So it's, it's making a lot. Oh, that's not enough, huh? Yeah, we need 225. Oh, classic. And... Was that downtime? Come on, Julie, you got this. Take the lime? Dude, I'm getting lime lately. Letting. Are we good here? Alright, so the steam is good. We want to leak this out. We do need the oxygen here, so I do need to do this. There we go. Alright, so this is going to go inside. Power. Going to need suits here. Now this is just going to get all the gas, and that's fine. Give that some time. We do want the water here now. So that's in here. That's going to be like so. Okay, I hit home accidentally. We do this, and we do that. Eight degrees, not bad. All right, so this is going to cool before going inside. 25, let's go. Julie, you got this. Oh, wait. No one's here. <laughs> no one's here, dude. No one's here. You got me scared, but everyone went home already. Oh, Julie, why'd you pee your pants? Julie, that was my fault, man. Julie, can you build the building, though, one time? No one's there, man. Dude, this sounded like gunshots. No, dude, you're building this. Alright, now you gotta go inside. Alright, so this is gonna be sulfur. Alright, so that means sulfur gets dropped off here. The sweeper can pick it up. And then the logic's gonna be that all the sulfur at the bottom of the map can be brought up to here now. We're gonna be able to go home. And then launch. Nice. So we're gonna have to swing by with the rover. So we'll likely take this planet, or this rocket... We're going to go this way. One, two, three. And then probably a four or five. I might even go six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Be weird. Because we're just going to fly by, drop the rover, and then keep flying. Yeah, that way we'll be able to just farm that a little bit better. Three shots a day, though. Not enough sulfur still. We'll probably... Hmm, maybe we'll send a rover... And we'll actually land there as well with this rocket. Just so that we could get sulfur. Uh, let's put some bins here then, if that's the case. Just to make sure we do do that. Not bad. 
All right, how's the water? Oof, look at that clean water. All right, too much though. So we gotta cut the line. We leave that there. Was this grounded? It is. Right, they wouldn't mind some water on this side though. All right, not bad. Good stuff, good stuff. Sadly, I don't think we're going to be able to finish it. So, guys, we'll have to finish this next time. Because this is going to be the spot where we're going to be wrapping things up for the night. We know what we want to do here, though. It's almost in place. All the builds are in, the pipelines. We just got to get the rail stuff in here, some sweeper loader setups. And then I think we're going to separate iron, cobalt, and copper. And then run the aqua tuner separately. That's going to be heat. That's going to be heat. Power from the turbines every time we get an eruption. And then we're going to have some other things. Hydrogen vent is right here. And I am thinking about using this. Hydrogen vent. Sounds like it's probably going to be a good idea. But guys, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out. It's going to be time for me to wrap things up for the night. So let's get that saving.